don't go. Oh, responsibilities. Amy is in safe hands, as are you. I like to leave you wanting more. Oh, I do want more. I want lots more. Well, good. Because we've got the rest of the year to spend together. 365 nights. Mm. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> I'm not used to people saying no to me. Mm, really? Yeah. <laughs> I get very possessive. You don't really want me to wake up all alone on the first morning of the new year, do you? <laughs> mm? Why can't I do it? Because you're too short and you're not a stranger. What do you mean, short? <laughs> I'm average height. <laughs> I am average height. You're in the land of lilypots. <laughs> oh, hello. Is this your New Year's resolution? Insult your husband at every opportunity? Oh, I like you this size. I don't want you any bigger. You're just right for me. <laughs> <laughs> but for the first footing, I need a tall, dark stranger, and you're only dark. <laughs> Humor me, Kevin. It'll bring us good luck. <laughs> right. You put the kettle on, and I shall go and find us a stranger. <laughs> Come here. Give us a New Year kiss. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not illegal. There's no blood between them. What do you mean? Look. She's all over him. It's obvious she fancies him. You've got a screw loose or what? She's a tart. She'd have anyone. And you're a drunk. I think I've had a bit too much to drink. I think you might be right. I'm having a good time, though. Good. I kissed Nathan. Yeah, I know, I saw him. I think I've been giving him mixed signals. I, mean, I might be wrong, but I think he fancies me. Will you stop panicking? It'll only be the pizza. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, and I'm starving. Right, you say there. I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> oh, about time it's freezing out there! Oh, sorry, has Rosie gone already? What's going on? Nothing. Why aren't you dressed? Where's Keith? You can't just push away in here. Where's my daughter? Where's Rosie? You filthy little... Rosie! Oh, Rosie. I'm sorry. We have nothing to be ashamed of. I asked you before, where's Keith? He's at Audrey's. Get out. It's my bedroom. Are you arguing with me? I find my daughter naked in your bed, and you are arguing with me. We have nothing to be sorry for. I said, get out! Get dressed, Rosie. <laughs> Go on! Get in the house! Uh, two veggie specials with coleslaw. I'm really sorry. You don't have to apologise for anything. We've done nothing wrong. We love You're each other. 15 years We old. love each other. Happy New Year! What's going on? Inside. I said Happy New Year! Go home before I tell him what you've been up to. Someone tell me what's been going on. I said go home. These need paying for. Tell. Happy New Year! Rosie, what's the matter? Caught them in bed together. Is this true? I'm sorry. I'll kill him. What's he done to you? He hasn't done anything. We love each other. You're 15! That's what I told her. I thought you was clever. I thought you had head on those shoulders. What do you think you're playing at, eh? We took precautions. Oh, yeah, like lying to us. Get upstairs. You know what? I can't bear to look at you. I'm sorry. Oh, you will be, my girl. You will be. Oh. Kevin. Don't try and stop myself. What's the point? Look, he's not getting away with this. I'm going to sort him out. What, you mean you're going to thump him? That's right. And where's that going to
gonna get us. I don't know about you, but it'll make me feel a lot better. It won't change anything. I'm not letting this go, Sal. I know you're not. And we can tackle Craig when he gets back in the morning. Oh, come here. You're the girl that was taken. Twelve months, look at her. A kid. She's still a kid. You should have talked to her. When? I don't know, ages ago. She's a 15-year-old with a boyfriend. You're not blaming me for this, Kevin. I thought she had more sense. Turn that thing off before a flaming bin it. Get upstairs. Let me have my phone five minutes. Upstairs! You were just as capable of talking to her as me. Come on, text. You. Get away! Stay away! Happy new. Oh, hello. Uh, do you want anything washing? I'm just putting these in. I'm not surprised that one's washing. You had everyone's filthy hands on you last night, didn't you? Shut up, Mum. Yours among them. Don't be stupid. It's New Year's Eve. It's what people do. No harm in it. Oh, scored a phone number, though, eh? That Nathan's. Oh, yeah. You're meant to be sat on those, eh? Yeah, well, you disappeared. I thought maybe Keith was back. Yeah, well, go on. She needs to know she can't sneeze without us knowing about it. I told her that. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Job sorted. Kevin, tell me how us falling out about this is going to help anything, eh? Look at this place, Sal. I'm stacked up. I take on every job what comes in because they took on those school fees. I've worked more hours this last couple of years than any time in my life. Weekends, Christmas. You know, it's dark when I get here. It's dark when I lock up. I'm knackered, Sal. It takes my fingers all flaming nights I thought out. But I'm thinking, hey, at least my kids are going to have it better than me. Because that's what this school is meant to mean to Rosie. Better. Not getting pregnant like every other dropout. Well, we've just got to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> and how do you know it hasn't already? Well, she reckons it was the first time, Kevin. They were careful. They used to... I control. know what she said. There she goes. Get over there and sort it out! Rosie, inside! Maybe when you've done with yourself, Peter, you can come over and help me try and rescue this, eh? You're not the only one who expected more of her. Right, ta -ra. Just have to do finishing touches to your lunch. Plate your nap, is it? That's right, ta -ra. Good yeah. girl. Um, pint of Dutch courage, please. Bitter? No, just that, Rienzi. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm rum and coke, love. What are you having? You're going to cause trouble today, aren't you? I just know it. Large vodka and lemonade, please, Ty. I'm not going to cause trouble. Yeah, well, you better not. This is worlds colliding for me, you and them, and she'll have gone to a lot of trouble. Look, I'm sure it's the best lunch I've been to this year. Oh, ha, ha. That's exactly what I'm talking about, being clever and snide. That ain't being snide. It was just a harmless joke. Oh, it's going to be a barrel of laughs, this lunch, isn't it? Hey, you shooting daggers at me every time I open my mush. Yeah, well, then, don't open your mush. Hmm? I thought you had a date. Changed my mind. Not your type after all. I ain't got room for no more men in my life. I've got to be here for the ones worth having. Hey, Jamie. So, are you taking me out or not? I'm naked. I'm going to go and lie down. Lee tells me you drink both. Oh, I drink. Help me. <laughs> both what? Both red and white wine. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we drink both. <laughs> Good. So I bought red. So we'll have to only drink one then, won't we? <laughs> never mind. Hey, it's, it's all right, this. Well, you never told me your dad knew his plunk. 13%? That's as good as it gets. Ta. We'll not waste this. Save it for something special. Stella! Get Danny a can out of the fridge. I remember. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Rosie, come on, shift. He's here. Let's see what that boyfriend of yours has got to say in front of his granddad, eh? I'm not coming. Oh, you are. I don't want to. This isn't about what you want. We've seen where that gets us. Now, come on, out. Do you know, I haven't had breakfast in bed since... Oh, I can't remember where I am. Hey! Oh, now what? Oh, Happy New Year. Is it? Let's see if you still think so when we finish talking, eh?
Why didn't you text me? They took the phone Sit off there, Rosie. Mate, right. you gonna tell me why we're here? That'd be good if someone did. Let me make us all someone to drink, eh? Come on. Let's hear it. Rosie was here last night. Not here. Upstairs with him. Oh, heck. Do you know how old my daughter is? Look, hang about. I, I don't think shouting's what's needed. Shouting? It's lucky he's not had a good hiding off me yet. Now, Kevin, come on. Let's all sit down. Fifteen years old. She was fourteen last week. Well, I'll be sure to have a word with him. You what? Have a word. I've... Well, go on, then. I want to hear it. Fifteen years old. What sort of a future do you think he's got in mind for her, setting out to ruin her life? She's got exams next year. I love Rosie. Shut it, you! I'll not have raised voices. Look, it may be how you do things, but it's not how I do it. Oh, how do you do things, Emmy? Spill it out for me. Cos I want to hear how you're going to put a stop to what's going on right now. We don't just walk off in the middle of a conversation. It's not a conversation, it's you starting off. Starting off what? I only asked you what you and Frankie are doing tonight. No, it's what you meant. Me and Frankie ain't got anything going on. Never have and we never will. So how come you can't hold a normal conversation about her? Cos it's you trying to make everything wrong, poisoning everything. Poisoning? Cos you can't handle the fact that me and Frankie are more mother and son than you're ever going to be. Oh, well, if that's what you're after from a mother, then you can keep it. You're sick! I'm sick! Me? I saw you two last night. Do you know what was going through my head last night? I was thinking, this ain't what I want, no way. Yeah, right. I asked myself how this happened, and it keeps coming back to you. You're trying to crash my head, try and make something up that ain't there. It is there. It's there. Everyone can see it. It's her who's to blame, not you. You're the kid in this. It's her who don't know how to behave like a mother. Shut up! I asked you to be responsible. We were. For God's sake. Well, you know what I mean. I was putting you in a position of trust. Yeah, well, what I'm interested in is what happens now. How are you going to make sure this stays away from our daughter, eh? You can't do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. But I love him. Don't be ridiculous. I do. What do you think you know about love, eh? No more than you. How dare you speak to me like that? We wouldn't lie and cheat. All right, that's enough. And split up and go off with other people. You shut your mouth. Look, maybe if we dealt with the two of them separately. I mean, if you took Rosie back home. And what's this got to do with you, eh? No, I'm just trying to help. Oh, we'll do it the Platts way, shall we? And this time next year, I'll be a grandmother. Yeah, well, there's no need for that, thank you. You're only here because you're being nosy. That's it, no. I'll not have you talk to Audrey like that. I'm not taking advice from a family that had a kid at 12. 13, actually. Which is why Audrey knows what she's talking about. In fact, she's been a great help to me in trying to deal with this. What do you mean by that? Well, um... Did you know about this before? What, this has happened before? Yeah. And he didn't go completely off his head. Not like you, treating us like kids. You knew what was going on. Yet you still give him the keys to your house for the night. Well, Craig knew the rules. Rules? You stupid man. You should have been here. I'm sorry, that's enough. Get out, go on. You lay one more finger on my daughter. I'll not have threats in this house. No, oh, you'll have more than threats, mate. If I see you near that house or Rosie again, but the last thing you do, all right? We'll be all right, OK? I love you. Out. And yellow pillowcases on her arms for wings. Sweetie Piley, I wish I'd have seen that. Oh, she's always been one for dressing up, haven't you, Lee? You found her in a belly dancing costume in a dodgy bar not long since, didn't you? No, it wasn't dodgy. Ain't got a picture by any chance of it, cos it's all new side to you, haven't it? Tell you what I have got. Where? Where's Chesney? What, has him pick on somebody else? We don't pick on Chesney. He's out back playing. He only gets bored when we entertain. He'll be freezing out there. He's got a water bottle. Oh, <laughs> that'll be tart, Steve Frosted. <laughs> Cheer up. What's the matter with you? You was worried we weren't all going to get on, and I ain't had this much of a laugh in ages. Yeah, at me. Well, you should be pleased, shouldn't you? Centre of attention, you know what I mean? Here you are. Oh, Thanks. For what? Sticking up for me. Sticking up for you? Yeah. You knocked my head off as a psycho. They just found out that you can't be trusted with their daughter and that you take no heed at all of me. That's not true. How did you think they'd react, eh? Invite you over to tea to celebrate your having your way with her? We're not kids. You are stupid kids. I just don't get it, dear. You're not to leave this house. Get lost. Get up to your room now. No. Do as you're told. You're not going to keep us apart. You just watch me. Don't you dare walk out that door. See ya. 
You can't stop us from seeing each other. Oh, can't we? But we've done nothing wrong. <laughs> and you saying that is exactly why you're not allowed to see Craig anymore. You don't understand. We don't have to. You do. And what you do have to understand is you and Craig are history. You're just 15 years of age. Next year, Rosie, you've got exams that are going to set you up for the rest of your life. Well, I'll work hard if I'm happy, won't I? This is not a discussion. We are telling you how it's going to be. Will you tell him to shove off, staring at the bedroom window? He's giving me the creeps. Creep! Right! Come on! Hey, Dad, don't hit him! Upstairs, right now! Let me go! I want to see him! I want Craig! You are not leaving this house, do you hear me? Not without me or your dad. We're watching you day and night from now on. I hate you! Fine. But get upstairs and hate me from there. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yes, Rita was giving it the old, oh, I know, scrub up. And, like, I want to practically die out of boredom. Oh, don't be so ungrateful. At least she'll let me have a sip of sherry. You what? At midnight. Oh, great. Keep your wig on. It's only a tick you sip. She was well slush. She said when she was 13, her mum let her have a drink of Shanda. And that was, like, centuries ago. So this one's out boozing while the other one's out... Out what? Nothing. I know something's going on. There's nothing for you to worry about. Glad you had a nice time, love. I totally love it. Happy New Year, Rosie! You total cow! Where do you think you're going? To see Craig. Oh, no, you're not. You, back upstairs. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Oh, drop dead, Sophie. Charming! Stop stirring it. You, upstairs. What, Dad? Are you deaf? You can't just lock me up forever. You're a kid. You live by our rules. Right, hi. My name's Sophie and I sleep next to you. Does anyone please want to tell me what's going on? Sophie, go and put the kettle on for us right now. Come on. I'm pretty invisible in this house, Meg. How long's this silent treatment gonna go on for? Till you need another sub, I suppose. Thankless task this has turned out to be. I'm not a kid. The law of the land says you are. The law of the land's got me man locked up for something she never did. Look, it, if I seemed a bit heavy-handed yesterday... You were totally out of order. You meant to be keeping an army, not running my flaming life. I'm in loco parentis. I've got to think what your mum would say. Well, and your dad. My dad would probably debt me. But he's dead. And I'm very much alive, thanks. I knew no good had come of it. It was all fine until people started sticking their nose in. I did try to warn you. Yeah, well, her dad's lost it anyway. I mean, what's he gonna do? Watch the 24-7 till the 16th birthday. Look, just steer clear of the lass and her dad. I don't tell you how to run your relationship. <laughs> well, I'm a grown man. Yeah, well, so am I. So just get off my case. Oh, uh, a happy new year, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And how have you been? Oops, here we go. Oh, I'm only asking. Never better. We're eating out tonight. Oh, do we have to? I'd much rather cuddle up on the settee. Mm, already booked. Oh. So, um, how's it been? Pretty good. And you find used tea bags in the fridge. And he had two baths the other night, one straight after the other. And he didn't realise? No. Nope. Just found them. Looking at the towels, all confused. How's the sleeping beauty? I don't know. His bed's not been slept in. Must have kicked over at a mate's. Oh, why didn't he phone me? Blimey, Frankie, he's probably copped off with a girl. The last thing on his mind's gonna be to phone his stepmother. Bit of a passion killer, don't you think? But he always phones. He knows I'd worry. And did you? Well, I didn't know he hadn't come back. You'll be fine. You know, I, I'm just glad the whole thing's over. Emily didn't half put a dampener on the festivities. Loving Christmas isn't compulsory, Norrie. Normally, I have the utmost respect for her, but there's only just so much stoicism I can stomach. Oh, so sorry, yeah. Can I, can I help you? Yeah, uh... Oh, Ed, isn't it? Mrs Sullivan, Happy New Year. Oh, and the same to you. 
and it's Rita. Uh, this is Norris, my business partner. Happy New Year, Norris. Likewise. Uh, Ed is a friend of Emily's from church. Oh, fancy. I've just called round there, actually, but there's no answer. No, she's helping out at the Salvation Army Hostel, isn't she? Oh, uh, I believe so. We, we don't live in each other's pockets. Right. Well, I might try and uh, call round later. Thanks. You're very welcome. And you have the nerve to call Emily a grump. Well, he, he didn't even buy so much as a packet of chewing gum, did he? I tried talking to him, Pen, but as soon as I mentioned the quacks, he went right off the deep end. Well, what did he say? Well, plenty, believe me. He, he just thinks he's being got out from all sides. I thought he'd take it from you. Yeah, but even if he had done, chances are he'd have woke up in the morning and not remembered any of it. Don't. It's his pride. Some of the time, he is fine. See, he's still got a good few marbles left. Well, I hope he's got some for tonight. He's booked a table at the clock. Well, good for him. What, do you think so? Yeah. What, pretending everything's normal over three long courses? Seeing him forget another name or a word or that blank look he gets on his face when something else disappears from his memory. He seems chirpy enough to me. He's right, though, ain't she? We can't keep her locked up forever. Where's Tommy when you need him? He would have knocked that lad into next week. I think Keith thinks we're making a mountain out of a molehill. He's out of his depth. I wish we could electronically tag the pair of them. <laughs> Let took chair to do, Craig. Thank you, darling. How'd it go at Kinlocks? Oh, fine, and uh, Brian says hello. Good, good. They happy with a quote? Yeah, they were. Brilliant. What's the matter? Don't you trust me or something? That's rich coming from you. A couple of weeks ago, you was turning out my pockets, Michael. Oh, water under the bridge! Well, you seem a good fool. I am. I'm going to propose to Penny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have done it months ago. Well, put it there. That's brilliant. That's great news. Blind in. Oh, yeah. Put a sparkler in town, book the table, champagne on ice. All bases covered, eh? Good for you. Brilliant. Well played. Brilliant. Jamie phoned. Huh? Finally come up for air, has he? She's gone to see Warren. Spain? Little jet setter. Said he's been meaning to go for a while. Just hops on a plane. Mystery solved, then. Just thee and me. Yeah. Party on. Craig! Get back in! You can't stop us seeing each other. Oh, you got a death wish or something? Please, Dad. Dad! Get back in the house or God help me, I will batter the pair of you! Just give us five minutes, will you? Take your filthy hands off my daughter! Get in! We'll be all right. We can't keep you locked up forever. And if I've got to tell you again, I will beat the living daylights out of you. And if they bang me up, you're worth it. Get in. You should hear the way David and Sarah speak to Gail. Really? Oof. I have to bite my tongue sometimes. I can imagine. Then nobody wants Grandma weighing in with her two pennyworth, do they? <laughs> or Grandad. Mm. No, that's different. Cos you're flying solo. My lot, I've got Gail. Well, Craig's so full of lip and he, he's chippy, too. Oh, I mean, kids today, they're so articulate, aren't they? They think they've got an answer for everything. Well, you defied me. Stop in, I said. You're not going out that door. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that was like a red rag to a bull, wasn't it, that? Oh, maybe. But I was totally stumped. I, I couldn't make him see sense. Well, you've got to toughen up. Come on. Now, tell him there's no more skulking out to see Rosie Webster. Well, you'll laugh in my face. Keith, you've got to be firm. Lay down the law. You're the adult, he's the child. I don't mean to pry, I just wondered if you were OK. It'll go no further. Oh, I know. Well, strictly between us, because I'm sure he's a very dedicated man, but I'm not... Oh. I'm finding it hard to adjust to the Reverend Ashbourne's replacement. A bit too happy-clappy, yeah? I pride myself on moving with the times. I'd love to have email. I think it's ingenious that a mobile phone can take a photograph. I'm not wedded to the past. Well, good, because the past can hold us back. I like to pray in the proximity of other people, but without all of this... 
heart on your sleeve stuff? I cherish the hymns that I'd grown up with, the Bible passages that have sustained me through, through some terrible times. I hate you. Well, that's a price I'm happy to pay. I mean, really hate you. And that's another week you're grounded. But we love each other. Look, I'm trying to work here. If you're hungry, get a bag of crisp. You and Mum have so lost the plot. And that's another week you're grounded. It's going to be Easter at this rate by the time you surface again. What? What should I? Nothing for you to worry about. Go and play in front of the lorry, Sophie. Not funny. Nobody tells me anything. Nobody listens to what I am going through. You think you have a hard life? Try being in my shoes. All right. So where did you slope off to earlier? Surprised you even noticed. You do not leave this house. You understand? You will make things worse for Craig. And he's already in enough trouble. I hate this house! Mike, I'm worried about your memory. And I don't want to nag and I don't want to fall out. We are not going to fall out, Penny. Especially tonight. <laughs> My memory's fine. Please, don't ruin this one. Plenty of gay men have kids. Yeah, in stable relationships. That dress really does suit you, you know. You look lovely in it. Thanks. Well, come on then, give us a smile. That stuff's 70 quid a bottle. <laughs> That's more like it. <sighs> Thank you. When you're finished, just leave that there. I'll sort that out. Mm -hmm. Well, um, happy new year, darling. And whatever it brings, we'll get through it together. Yes, just hang on a sec. And I did keep the receipt. Mike. Look, I'm not one for the bended knee stuff, but uh, would you do me the very great honour of becoming my wife? Well, the ring's got your approval. What about me? I'm really touched that you've asked me. But we don't need to get married, do we? We're all right as we are. Mike. It's not that I don't love you, it's... Mike? Mike? Madam? Uh, madam? What? The bill? Oh. Honestly, Gail, I did all I could. I even tried talking to Rosie myself. Yes, but you didn't tell her parents. They had a right to know. Which I had when it happened to Sarah. But exactly. I wanted to, but Keith wouldn't let me. Oh, for goodness sake, why am I getting all this flack? Please. You know, when I first started seeing Keith, I didn't know I was going to have to take on two teenagers as well. Shouldn't think he was planning on a second parenthood, either. Now, don't make me feel any worse, please. I know it's not easy for him, but after all, Craig is his flesh and blood, not mine. I've got my own grandchildren to worry about without taking on anybody else's. So what are you saying? You're going to dump him? Oh, that is teenage talk and all. I don't do dumping at my age. I'm not sure I do dating, either. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Uh, do you know where Weatherfield is? Hey? Weatherfield, you know, the, uh, the place by the water. What are you talking about? Well, you get in with the lock. You know, you... No, no, key. Weatherfield keys. Weatherfield keys? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. you're going the wrong way for starters, mate. So you want to turn around, OK? Go down to the roundabout, go right. When you get to the T-junction, do a left, and that should lead you there, OK? Oh, yeah, thank you. You sure? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. OK. We're going to start a Bible study group. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sure Rita can't think of anything less exciting. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it that obvious? I'm not much of a churchgoer, I'm afraid. Well, church is not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, some folk prefer their relationship with the great whatever to be a private affair. Yeah, that about sums me up. Though I could be persuaded. <laughs> I'm sure he's got uh, better things to do than flatter you into submission. And Anyway, he's already hot one fish. Norris. I see you know your Bible. Eh? Mark chapter 1, verse 17. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. Oh. Better come in here, girl, because the girls are clearing up. So go on, then. Who else has she told? The whole salon? No, of course not. Only me. She feels terrible. So she should. What happens bad enough, but when two grown adults knew about it and didn't do anything... I know. It's exactly what I told her. Do you want a copper? No. I do know what you're going through, Sally. She's just a child, Gail. I know. You think you know what they're up to and then all along. Why didn't I see it? There must have been signs. I just wasn't looking, that's all. Well, at least she's not pregnant. Is she? No. She could be if she carries on and she's determined to. We've practically got her under lock and key, but we can't keep that up, can we? No. All you can do is hope that they come through it. I mean, when I found out about Sarah, I thought it was the end of the world. But she's made a go of her life. Yeah, but Rose is different. Rose is an academic. She has a bright future ahead of her. She should be concentrating on her studies, but instead... Her head's in the clouds. She says that they're in love and that it's forever. Fifteen and it's forever. She knows nothing. Exactly. It won't last. Yeah, but by then it could be too late. I mean, she's already fallen behind. Why can't you see what I'm trying to save her from? I don't want her stuck in some dead-end job with a bit of telly, the only thing to look forward to. There's more than that. For most people, it's enough, Sally. I don't want her to be like most people. I don't want her to be like me. She knows how hard I've worked to send her there the mess I've got myself into. I nearly wrecked my marriage, and for what? For her to chuck it all aside on some lad? I won't let her. Question is, how are you going to stop her? <laughs> hey, you do tell them. <laughs> right, same again, my round. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> for, for a God-fearing man, you seem to be very fond of your beer. Oh, Norris. Well, I believe the good Lord himself was very partial to the odd glass of wine. It's Methodists that don't drink Norris. That's why I never became one. <laughs> <laughs> He's very nice, isn't he? Mm. He's such good company. Maybe you should toss for him. I beg your pardon. Well, it's pathetic. You've been phoning over him all night. I'm surprised the poor fellow hasn't run a mile. I do not fall. Well, maybe not you, but she does. <laughs> Just because he tells a good joke. I told you that one last week. Yeah, well, he tells it better. Emily, Rita, Hello. nice to see you. Hello, Hello Mike. Mike. Don't mind me. Uh, this is a friend from church, Ed. Mike Baldwin, a very old friend of mine. <laughs> oh, listen to me. <laughs> when I said very old, I, I didn't mean that. The, 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 are you? Are you tiddly? I think I am. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, mate. And you. <laughs> Anyone seen Bet? Bev? Uh, yes, yeah, she's over there. <laughs> Do you know, for a minute there, I thought he said Bet. Must be tiddling myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Penny! Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine now, you're here. And you're not so angry with me? Angry at all? Well, no, no, of course not. Hang on, I'll get you a drink. You usually can't drag him out of this place. Oh, give us half a lager and lime, love, while I'm waiting. Uh, excuse me, I was first. I'm All sorry. right, Eileen, I'll tell you after I've this gentleman. Is that it? Uh, yeah. But no, I'll have a packet of pork scratchings, please. Oh, great. Sorry? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Did you want to? No, 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 you go ahead. No, I'm used to being back of the queue. I've got two lads. Nice one, Mum, you buying? Well, I'm trying. This is one of us. Pleased to meet you. Come in. 
Have you decided on Port Scrouchings? Yes, we have. That'll be uh, £2.75, please. Oh, lovely. There you go. No, 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 you're all right. No, I insist. Far be it from me to come between a lady and a pork scratchings. Oh, thanks very much. Mike? Go on. Admit it. What? Why you really don't want to marry me. Oh, I've told you, Mike. Because I'm losing it. That's what you think, isn't it? Oh, don't be silly. Look, whatever is wrong with you, We'll sort it out. Together. There is nothing wrong with me. All right, I... I may have forgotten a few things recently, but... Well, I'm getting older. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm getting senile. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yes, you are, and so is he. There is nothing wrong with my memory. No, I, I, I'll prove it, right? OK. Uh, ask me what's on the table behind. No. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. There's a vase with some flowers in it, there's a paper, Stop there's some it, keys, Mike. and a lot of his CDs. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> there you are, you see. Put me on the generation game, I'll come away with more than just a cuddly toy. <laughs> Who won the Cricket World Cup in 1979? The West Indies beat us by 92 runs. We scored 194 in 51 overs all out. Huh? See? Go on, ask me something else. Go on, go on. What day is it? Dawn, Penny. What day is it, Mike? I'm going out. I just want you to talk to me. And I know you're scared, and I am too, but we can help each other. Shut up! Just... Just shut up. There's, there's, there's nobody, not other than you, my little pigeon. Oh, you oh, oh, my little pigeon! Oh, 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 oh. Do you want some wine? Mike? Mike, what are you doing? Right. Now you get out too. What? You heard me. Get out. But why? What's this about? Do you think I don't know what you're doing, eh? I should have seen all this before. Mike, will you please... You're trying to make me think I'm going mad, aren't you? So you can get me locked up and have everything for yourself. Well, it's not going to happen. No, Mike, you've got it all wrong. Wrong? Wrong? There's nothing wrong with me. There never has been. You're doing things in here, aren't you? Scrambling up my head. Mike, will you please... Get out! Come on, Mike, out! Would... No! Out! Get out! I'm just you, about Mike. love. You don't know the meaning of the word. I love you. Please don't, Mike. You've never loved me, and I've never loved you. You scheming little bitch. Now get out. Oh no, my God. Get out. I love you. I love you. Penny. 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 Well, where is she? What are you doing, Dad? Well, she's not in the bathroom. And she doesn't get up this early, so where'd she go? Dad, you threw her out last night. Oh, come on. You took her out to dinner, Dad. You asked her to marry you. Then you went mad as hell when she demanded you see a doctor. You don't remember, do you? Yeah, of course I remember. You don't remember a thing. I can tell. She wanted to help you, Dad. She saw there was something wrong with you and she wanted you to get treatment. And you've forgotten it ever happened. Can't you see? This proves Penny was right. I haven't forgotten anything. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. But you didn't remember you threw it out. Oh, rubbish. I expected to see her sitting there feeling all sorry for herself. Then come crawling back to me, begging me to give her another chance. And she will. You mark my words. Well, I can't say I'm looking forward to today. 
Oh, hi. Because you've got to go in there and wait for Mike to come in, spreading his good news. Well, it might be good news for him, love, but not for me. Because I've got a new stepmum coming sooner or later to go with my new dad. What a proper matching set that is. Well, maybe that'll keep him busy and out your hair, eh? Use your brains, Leanne. Oh, sorry. Didn't think you wanted me for me brains. Well, be fair, love. He's going to marry her and make a new will, eh? And what he don't leave to the tartan jockstrap, he's going to give to her. And by the way, I have beat my brains out to keep Underworld afloat. I've worked round a clock to keep that gaff going. And that little firm will end up owning more of it than I do. Anyway, why are you still are the big tycoon? Can I have some money for sales? I mean, I've gotten out to wear and I don't want to be showing you up now, do I? And besides, there'll be some good bargains. How much? Thank you. You want to iron my shirt? David, you've got at least three shirts waiting for you in your wardrobe. Yeah, but I want to wear this one I told you last night. Will you do it for me? I've got a lot to do. I've got to get Bethany ready for school as well as everything well, else. Sarah can do that. Why are you doing my shirt? Give it here. And don't forget your packed lunch today. It's waiting for you. Where's my cape bar? Oh, you forgot it, didn't you? Do you know, it's like living in third world in this house. Dad, you're crazy if you don't phone Penny right now and make your peace. You're as bad as her. She wants me to think I'm losing me marbles, now you're at it. Oi, 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 oi. Come on, boys. What are you two laying on a cabaret for the girls or what? Don't stop, Hermit. We're just getting good. If anyone else had spoken to me like that, I'd have sacked them. I just tell it like it is because you cannot see straight. Penny's the best thing that's happened to you for years. Not according to Danny. And he knows more about women than you ever will. Danny just tells you what you want to hear. That's the difference between me and him. Ah, to hell with it. Mike, Mike. Just let him go. We'll let him cool off, eh? He'll be fine. Come on. Come in the office and have a milk. Come on. I sometimes think... Maybe you should get the kids to do a bit more. Take some of the load off you. No. They've had a tough time. I feel bad enough about that without taking the childhood away from them. Anyway... I can manage. Especially with you around. You make all the difference. Good. Hi. Is tea ready? I'm starving. No, um, I've only just got it myself. Never is ready. Okay, I'll do it now. Oh, I can't wait. Just give it some money and I'll go to Chippy. Okay. No worries. Yeah, cheers, John. Good doing business with you. And we won't let you down. ta on, mate. Bye-bye. What about that, eh? We got the Meadows order. Fantastic. Oh, good. Good? It's brilliant. Keep us going for about a year, maybe even more. What's up? You should be over the moon. Well done, Danny boy. Look, I do appreciate the good work you do. Oh, all. No, I mean it. I mean, to show you, I mean it here. Take this. Call it a bit of a bonus. It's the ring I was going to give Penny. Oh, Mike. But yeah, Mike. well, I won't need it anymore. There's not going to be an engagement and there's definitely not going to be a wedding. Do you know what? She turned me down last night. <laughs> yeah, you can look surprised. Imagine how I feel. But, Mike, you've... You've already, um... Hey, well, listen, she must be crazy, eh? No. I'm the one she thinks crazy. She thinks I'm losing me marbles. Couldn't take any more of that. Told her to sling a hook. Well, you did right. Hmm. So I thought I'd better tell you, you know. Yeah, you can keep that. Give it to, um... What's the name? Uh... Oh, the bird you shared a house with. What's the name? Uh, anyway, no harm in keeping them grateful, eh? No. It's me. You all right? No, I'm missing you like mad. Me too. Craig, be careful. I'm all right. Can you stand it, Rosie? 
Can you stand what they're doing to you? They'll get sick of it before I do. Whatever they try, they won't split us up. They can't keep you locked up forever. They just can't do it. Well, I'm going back to school in a couple of days. We'll get together somehow. Yeah. Look, Rosie, I know they'll try it. But don't let them turn you against me, yeah? Never. They couldn't. Are we not going out for a drink tonight? Well, later on, if you like, I thought we'd have one here to celebrate first. There you go, darling. So, you gonna show me my present or what? Ah, oh, right, that's what you're after, is it? Anyway, what are we celebrating? I have had a terrific day. For a kickoff, I have secured the best long-term contract Underworld has ever had. Oh, clever you. Indeed, love. And to top that, the Scotch Egg has had a big falling out with Michael. Mm. And even better, Penny King has given Mike a knockback over his proposal. You're joking. No. And it gets even better. Mike went so ballistic, he slung her out of the flat and told her finito. You having me on? To prove it, and this is the bit you'll like best, this is for you. Danny? That's the engagement ring Mike was going to give to Penny, but he gave it to me. Called it a bonus for sewing up that deal I told you about. It's gorgeous. I don't know what to say. Whoa, 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 love, hang on a minute. Don't go into one. That ain't an engagement ring, all right? You can wear it on any finger you like, but not that one. Like it? I love it. Hey, how much did it cost? Well, plenty, I reckon. Just look in any jeweller's window, you'll get a fair idea. Now, it's my turn to unwrap my present. Go on, then. Unzip me. <laughs> Do I really, really get to keep this ring? Even if Mike goes after Penny and that's another go at proposing? Believe me, he won't. Not <laughs> if I can help it. <sighs> oh. Yeah, that's it. There you go. You know, Penny booked us his little uh, cottage near the lakes for the weekend. I was looking forward to that. Ah. Well, for what it's worth, I think he was right giving her a marching orders, making out he was going to do Lally. What's all that about? Oh, well, you know what women are like. She was worried about me, I just reacted all wrong. Really? Well, if she cared so much, you'd have thought she'd have got in touch with you by now, wouldn't you? I think you're better off out of her anyway. I don't know. So much has happened to this family lately. You having Adam around after all these years, and... Well, Mark, I... I was beginning to wonder what's happened to him. Mark? I haven't exactly been a good dad to him, have I? Do you know, I don't even know where he is. Being a bit generous, aren't you? What do you mean? Well, do me a favour, Michael, considering he was bedding your missus. What's her face, Linda, behind your back? Blimey. Well, you're a fine one to talk, the way you behaved. Look, if you want to see Mark, that's fine. If you feel that you can forgive him for what he's done, that's big of you, I'll give you that. Maybe him and Linda are living together. I mean, that'd be a right little reunion, that, wouldn't it, eh? Close in age and all. And he was a good-looking lad, by all accounts. Proper little Baldwin. Um, listen, mate, I'm sorry to hear about you and the old man. I really am, because, uh, well, I, I think you're really good for him, Penn, you know that, love. Wow. Well, he doesn't seem to think so. Yeah, well, he ain't himself right now, is he? Well, that's what I've been trying to tell him. I'm worried, Danny. I know, me and all. But, uh, listen, I wouldn't be going in there right now, cos I think he's in a proper narky mood. I know it's hard, mate, but I'd give him a couple of days. I really would. Well, you know what he's like. Give him the weekend to simmer down and it'd be a different story come Monday morning, wouldn't it? Well, I was over to have a word with him before I go to this meeting. <sighs> I don't know about it. I wouldn't love it. I really, really wouldn't. I'll tell you what, why don't I try talking him round? I'll have a quiet word with him, get your point of view across. I can't get fairer than that, cos I'm afraid if you go in there now, oh, he's just a bit... Bad, is he? Well... All right, Ben. Hi. How is he? No, uh, don't ask. He's calling me Mark now. You've got a meeting, right? And you're supposed to be training this one up. So why don't you take him with you? I mean, it'll do you both good, and I'll see what I can do about the old man. 
Yeah, you're very welcome to come. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great in the morning I've had. Truth is, I'm having second thoughts about that cruise. Dad, we were winding you up. Not that. I mean... Are we going as a couple or what? Sleeping arrangements. So, and now he's on about Mark again, you know, and that's the last thing I need. No one popping out in the woodwork. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about him after what he did. Mike's not exactly going to welcome him back with open arms, is he? Right. You never heard the story about the prodigal son in Sunday school, Lee? Eh? Uh, no. Weren't very me, Sunday school. Right. See, the trouble with the old man is, one minute he's as sharp as a knife, then he's as daft as a brush. I just ain't got a clue what he's going to do next. That's the problem. Well, you just got to keep him close, that's all. He trusts you, Danny. Mm, right. Listen, I'll catch you later. Yeah, right. Yes, Mike? Large scotch, darling. Coming up. Oh, hi. Do you want one? Uh, no, thanks, Michael. I'm going to get back to the factory, you know, go through next week's orders, keep one jump ahead. Good lad, that's what I'd like to hear. There you go, love. Keep the change, will you? Oh, thanks. Have you seen Adam around? Earlier on with Penny. Well, Penny was here. Well, she didn't come and see me. Well, what can I tell you, eh? Well, Adam's supposed to be working. What are those pair playing at? Don't ask me. I just saw them drive off together in that fancy motor of hers. Did you talk to her? No, she didn't want to talk to me. She was too busy with a flying Scotsman, wasn't she? Anyway, never mind. Catch you later. Yeah. What do you be sorry to say? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Playing that horrible video game with Bess sat right there. Well, she doesn't know what's going on, does she? She knows a scream when she hears one, and she can see people being knocked about all over the place. Would you give her nightmares? I didn't want to dump on me in the first place. Your mum's just saying the game's not appropriate. Where are you going? Out of here. You can look after her, soon as I'm doing such a rubbish job of it. Listen, David, let's... David! Well, it looks grand, just what the doctor ordered. Have you seen all the activities? Yes, yes. Lying, dancing, shuffleboard, swimming, volleyball. Not that I should be doing any of that. I'll say I'll not be doing any of that. No, but it's nice to know it's there, isn't it? Exactly. I think it's about time we got a place of my own pen. Is it that bad at home? No, it's not that. It's just living with my dad at my age. I'll get the drinks, you get the table, eh? Right. Well, look. If you need any help with a deposit or anything, then just give me... Well, well, well. Isn't this cosy? Mike! Yes, Mike. Remember me, do you, Linda? What? Look, let's go somewhere quiet to talk, eh? Come on, Dad. You keep away from me. Uh, hey, everything all right over here? Mike, what's happened? Well, what do you mean, Linda? Don't come the innocent with me. Where were you today? Was with Penny at the you? Well, Michael, what are you doing? Do you think I don't know what's going on? Do you think you can pull the wool over my eyes, do you? Mike, you and her are having an affair, aren't you? Come on, admit it. Mike, stop it, for God's sake. I'm not Linda and Adam isn't Mark. We're at the suppliers. Danny, will you tell him? Yeah, look, uh, Mike, I told you. You know, they just had a meeting, that's Don't all. you stand up for him, or either of them. You, I never want to see you again. And as for you... Get out of my flat and get out of my factory. You got it? Mike, Michael, Michael. We were doing fine till he showed up. Just fine. Phil seems all right to me, mate. Only mum likes him. So, she liked Tillman. He's always round the house. He even moved in over Christmas. Yeah, but well, that was only temporary. Oh, he'll be back. Just you watch. He opens his gob and she listens to him. Although I'd like, it's pathetic. I tell you, you won't like it if your mum gets a new bloke. Maybe she will meet someone new. Before me and Rosie, I'd have probably kicked off like you, but not now. Come off it. No, seriously, mate. Until you've been in love yourself, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Wait till your mum meets a new bloke and she starts changing and he starts laying down the law, taking over your house. Love. If that's love, mate, you can stick it. Oh, hi, David. I'm glad I found you. Phil and me are cooking dinner. What? You did that on purpose. You can pay for that. Did it deliberately? David? 
Oh, hi. Do you want one? What? Do you want a cup of coffee? No, I don't often make it, but it's not that much of a shock, is it? How can you? I've hardly slept. Oh, so it was you banging around in here last night, was it? You thought we had burglars. You're lucky you didn't get my three iron wrapped round. Now, stop it. You hunt me last night. Pretending it didn't happen won't change things. What are you talking about? You're pretending, right? Please tell me you're pretending. I'm sorry, Sam, but you've lost me. Look, if, if I've upset you in any way, I need to know. It's probably something I said that you took the wrong way, but uh, well, it can't be as serious as all that. You accuse me of having an affair with Penny. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I had a lot to drink last night, that's why. I... Yeah, but that's not why you said it. No, it's why I forgot. We both know why I said it. Dad, I'm sorry. Oh, it's too late for that. Look, it can't be. There must be something. There must be some sort of treatment. Treatment? For whatever's wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me. Except bad taste and bad genes. I trusted you. And her. Dad, you're confused. Just stop and listen. Yeah, you're right. I was confused. I should have found out earlier. But you gave me hope. And all I had was regrets. You gave me something to be proud of. Didn't matter if I'd done nothing worthwhile for the whole of my life. There was, there was you. My son. And I loved you. I know. But you don't honestly... Do you think I'd joke about a thing like that? Well, it's the last laugh the pair of you are going to have out of me. I'm going out now. I don't want to see you here when I get back. No, Dad. No, Dad. Dad, don't do this. Come on. I knew Mike was losing it, but I never expected that. I reckon Penny's well out of it. Mm, maybe. Hey, lucky for us, though. I mean, Mike won't be able to carry on with the factory and your husband will be able to take over. So as long as he thinks that Adam's sleeping with Penny. But he isn't, though, is he? So, Adam's a prat. You're not shedding any tears over him, are you? No fear. But hey, Mike's face went up. Maybe I should have put him straight off. Right, so you want to hand it all on a plate to Adam, do you? Is that what you want? Of course I don't. No, I know I'm only doing what I have to, but I don't have to like it, do I? Well, that was cracking, that dinner. Want it, eh, kids? Yeah, half that corn steak. Oh, no bother. You cow! What's wrong? Look! She's making fun of me! <laughs> no, I'm not! This isn't your chest. It's too big for one thing. <laughs> oh, Rosie! <laughs> going on? Where's Sarah? She's, uh, out for the night. Three guesses with who? Are you babysitting? Yeah. For my son's girlfriend. I don't think it'll make front page of the Gazette. I knew I couldn't trust you. You've not got the backbone to make a stand. It's a short life, Gail. I want my life to grab every happiness where they can and when they can. I'm not going to stand in the way. You're after a bit of cheap popularity, you mean? Because you're weak. No, Gail. It takes strength to admit when you're wrong. If you've got any sense, you do the same. Come on now. Say bye bye to Grandma. I don't know. I seem to spend my whole life alienating people I care about. You gave Adam every charge, Michael. More than I ever gave you. No, don't mind. All under the bridge, mate. That's why I can't afford to write any more kids off. That's why. I've, I've written to Mark. Seemed like the only way I could say what I wanted to about the past without it causing more rows. Great idea. Do you reckon? Absolutely, yeah. Then he can uh, read it calmly, weigh things up, can't he? Or we'll chuck it in the bin. Maybe, but uh, he's your son. It's a risk you've got to take, isn't it? If you don't hear back, forget him. At least you tried, though, eh? Yeah. Tell you what, I'm popping at the office on the way home. Why don't I stick a stamp on that for you and bang it in the post? Oh, do you mind? Not at all. Oh, that'd be great. Cheers. Right. Thanks.
brazen she was. Jason must have worn her down. Do you really think he could be any worse than Sarah? I don't know. I was just thinking aloud. Do you ever do anything else and try to watch this? And I'm trying to save your sister from yet another disaster. Why? You get her into most of them. I'm sorry. It's true. She's only with Jason Grimshaw because you forced Scooter out. I did not. She dumped him. Only because she won't stop mourning. You were desperate to get him out of the house. Now I know why. That's not fair. Wish you were sitting here now, don't you? Scoot were a dark, but it were harmless. You see, Sarah, she'll move in with Jason Grimshaw. Just like she'd done with Todd. And Grimshaw will ruin Sarah's life. Just like his brother did. That's enough! Oh, Sophie! I'm sorry, can I come in or do you need a bit more time with her? Don't be sarky, Soph. What do you expect? You don't think about me and my problems. I'm just someone to end a clothes down to. Not my bras. Hey, do you want to keep your phone? I've called you down because. Come here. Look, I'm sorry if you felt neglected, love. I didn't ignore you. You did? No, I didn't. Or rather, Helly and I didn't. I'll, um, I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> no. What has it got to do with her? Sophie! Oh, no, no, it's all right, Sally. I know you're upset, love. No, you don't. How the hell could you understand? Well, I, I do. More than you think. I'm now a late developer and all. I'm sorry, but... If you're not embarrassed, I am. Sophie, stay where you are, madam. Haley has gone to a lot of trouble. She's made this especially. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Haley. Oh, no, 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 forget it. I, I'm just really glad you like it. Um, my first. Um, Padded like this one. <laughs> Could have folded it in half and used it as a pillow <laughs> and still got there in the end. So same as you will. Thank you. Well, we could try it on. Oh, thanks, Hayley. Oh, no, it's my pleasure. It only seems like yesterday you were pushing her around in a buggy. <laughs> they do grow up fast, don't they? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Wouldn't have hurt to help clean up. Your mum will hear that in a bath. Don't you think she deserves some quiet time? What are you doing? I'm giving your mum a break. Something you might think about. Are you going to plug that back in, or am I? In a minute. I know you've had it tough, David. Not just Hillman, but your dad going away as well. It must have hurt. But... Taking it out on your mother isn't the way. She's the one person you've been able to rely on. Using her as an emotional punch bag. <laughs> David, you're 15 years old. Stop behaving like a child. Well, then stop behaving like you're me dad. You're not. You never will be. I'd never want you to be. I don't even know what you're doing here. I'm trying to help. Don't bother. You're nothing to this family. I care about your mother. I'm something to her. For now, mate. For now. Ever invented Mondays once shooting? Ah, the same goes for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Oh, no, no, not Friday. Something very satisfying about getting to the end of the week and knowing the weekend's around the corner. Oh, David, look at the state of your hair. You've not been in the shower, have you? No, didn't have time, did I? Someone were in the bathroom. Well, if you'd have got up when the alarm went off, instead of turning over, you'd have had time. Uh, hey, that's mine. So, oh, Mum, tell him. David, honestly, have some cereal. I don't want one. Got your favourite yesterday. I don't like that one anymore. It's made in Scotland. Didn't they have training days when you were at school then? Uh, you've only been back a week. I know it's bad, isn't it? You should write a letter complaining. 
My education is going down the drain because of Ming and teachers need training. Right, so why aren't you helping your mother out in the echo shop then? <laughs> it's 2006, man. Just because I'm Asian don't mean I have to stand behind a counter. Well, I thought you liked helping yeah, out. Yeah, but I know what you're after. You see child labour when you see me. You're after exploiting me. <clears throat> Have we finished? Oh, you're such a racist man. I couldn't see you. I'll be back just in case your mum was looking. Mm. Hey, uh, my granddad's out all afternoon. I can't Skype off. It's my first day back. What about after school? OK. Mm. Oh, yeah? Come to make your peace with the old man, have you? I'm quite to my things. I'm leaving. The business? Manchester. England. I'm going back to where I'm trusted. Mike knows about this, does he? He'll find out soon enough. Oh, I get it, yeah. You want him to come running after you and promising you the earth to get you back. Well, you're the wrong sex, mate. I know exactly what you're doing. You're exploiting my dad. <sighs> Oh, see, my dad too. Like you care about him. Well, you know what, Danny? Why should I care? Really? I don't need any of this. I didn't even know Mike existed five years ago. Well, ain't life full of surprises? Don't take my dad for granted, OK? No, sorry. I... See, that's the trouble with you, Adam. I can never understand what you say. You've not seen the last of me. Really? And you ain't seen the last of me either, boy. Keep looking over your shoulder. I admire you. How do you mean? You always seem in control. Well, there's times in the past when I've lost it big time. At one point, Sarah moved out and wouldn't speak to me for months. And Nick, well, he moved to the other side of the world to get away from me. What I'm saying is, I've never had kids. Maybe it's something to do with my mother, I don't know. I just don't like seeing you treated disrespectfully. You are right. I do make allowances for David. Maybe it's because he's my baby. He'll always be my baby. My mother terrified me. I think she terrified my father. <laughs> well, you can't see me terrifying anybody. He's not a bad boy. Of course he's not. You mind? No, not at all. <laughs> thought you might have come round earlier. What for? See Adam. Yeah, well, I thought I'd let him cool off a bit first. We uh, had a bit of an argument. So I understand. Is he all right? Well, he was this morning when we saw him off. Yeah, how do you mean? He's gone. Gone? Scotland, staying with a friend. Well, how long's he gone for? I mean, I, I need him at the factory. Well, from what he was saying, I don't think he'd be coming back there. Look, what on earth happened? What did you say to him that made him go off like that? Well, he couldn't have gone for good. I mean, uh, he, he would have told me. But he said that Penny's left you, is that right? Uh, look, Mike! What's going on? Can I come round them for a bit, or what? No, mate, I've got some rod. All right, then. I'll see you later. All right, mate. Grandad, you in? What can I eat? Could at least say hello. What's this? It's for tea. Well, can't we have fish and chips or something? I'm starving. I'll go to the chippy later. He's a growing lad. Of course he is. Good day at school, David. David, Phil asked you a question. Why, well, we're rubbish like usual. And don't be rude. Phil asked you a question, you answer him. What about your bag? <sighs> Where's my mum? She went out to get you fish and chips. Oh, when it pays as well.
I'm watching that. It's time for my program. Turn it back. No way. David, turn it back. Hey! You're not going to treat me like you treat your mother. You can't touch your You tally. treat me with respect or so help oh, me. Oh, what? What are you going to do about it? Tell me, Mum. Big deal. You don't like it, you can clear it off. This is my house, not yours. You can't tell me what to do. I think it's time you learn a lesson, Sonny. Let me go. I've had just about as much as I can take off you. You're not gonna treat me like that like you can do your mother. Get off me. Why? You can give it out. Can't you take it? Oh, tell me, Dad. Your dad? Where's he, eh? Disappeared with a woman he only knew for five minutes. I bet he couldn't wait to get away from you, you wee thug. You touch me and I'm going to the police. You need some sense knocking into you. <laughs> You push me too far. Big mistake, Nessie. Wait till my mum comes back. You're finished. Finished. Sunita, man, can I come upstairs? No, you can't. Only it's my birthday. Oh. Oh. Well, happy birthday. Thanks. My mum don't want me back till seven because she's working. I'm having a rubbish day. Did you... Dev, buy you anything nice? He don't even know it's my birthday. How tragic is that, man? Me and Fab don't know when I was born. Last year, I just had my mum. This year, I got a dad as well. And you and the twins. I always wanted a brother or sister when I was little. Leon, thought I'd come to the wrong house. What have you done now, David? What have I done? Me? It's him that's done it. What? He attacked me. He grabbed me and he shoved me into the wall. That wall. And then he shouted at me and he threatened me. Phil? I lost my temper. He was going to whip me. He ran me into the wall, Mum. It was like he was mad. I lost my temper and I shouted at him. I never laid a finger on him, though. What? He said this was his house. I had no rights. He mouthed off about you, about us. I shouted at him, told him he had to learn some respect. Mum, he grabbed me and he threw me into the wall. I didn't. You're a liar! David! Mum, I'm not lying! Just you heard sit me. down! I'm sorry, Gail. I wasn't prepared to sit back and let him badmouth you or me. It's obvious he doesn't like it when somebody stands up to him. It's obvious he's willing to tell any lie because he wants us to finish. I don't believe this. I warned he was out of control. I hate my parents. How sweet, man. We're not kids. They forget what it's like being our age. It's not like they get brainwashed the second they hit 25. I hate having to meet in secret like this. Having to pretend and lie. I don't mind lying if it means I can be with you. They're gonna have to accept us sooner or later. When they see that I love for you. I reckon they're just jealous. My mum and dad don't love each other. It's obvious. I feel sorry for them. They've never felt this. This intensity. I, th I think it'd be better if you left, Phil. Yeah, clear off. Just go to the pub, eh? I'll come over later. Okay. 
Phil? Did you hit David? No. You've not liked Phil since he walked through that door, have you? Why? Had he attacked you then? No. But I knew what he was after. What? He's only interested in you. He doesn't care less about the rest of us. And this proves it. I was just sat here a moment and he jumped on me. You wouldn't like any man I had in my life, would you? Any man who wasn't your dad. Well, it was your dad who ended our marriage, David. See why I should suffer for something I didn't do. You're just going to believe him, aren't you? I'm not just your mother, you know. I do have a life of my own. Is it too much to ask you to accept Phil for my sake? To show him a bit of respect? Respect? You know, if you brought a friend into this house, you'd expect me to be polite. You're not listening to what I'm saying, no. Oh, I'm listening to every word you say, David. And frankly, I'm disgusted by the way you turn everything around. You're always the innocent victim, aren't you? Well, you're 15 now. It's time you grew up. Phil is my boyfriend, whether you like it or not. And I am not prepared to let you drive him away. Why? Because you're so desperate to hang on to him. You don't care about me. I just get in the way. That's enough! Just... You're so desperate you'll go with anyone. No matter what they do to us, because all you care about is you. Never me. All you care about is hanging on to a man because you can't face being left old and alone. You're just like him. No! Get off! No, David! You've been feeling a bit down, haven't you? It's the same every winter. It'll be spring in no time. And it's been a blessing meeting Ed. He really has been a tonic. Anybody? In the kitchen. Don't start, OK? Sorry? I've had my tea at Jason's. Bethany's still over there. I'm only popping back to get a DVD. And if it makes you feel like having a go, please just don't bother. Cause just I'm... go, OK? OK, where you have your tea? Just go. Well, it's just that you keep... What? What do I keep doing? Trying to look out for my kids? Trying to stop them getting hurt? Or do I just not care, eh? Something happened. Do you care if it has? You just go and delude yourself you're in love with Jason Grimshaw. Eileen, play happy families for once in a life. Worry about me. I'm just your selfish mother. It's Phil dumped you. What do you care? Of course I care. You're my mum. Please, come on, tell me what's happened. I hit David. Well, good for you. I've been wanting to hate him for ages. He kept saying things, and before I could stop myself... What sort of things? I didn't care about him. Or you. All I was interested in was hanging on to a man. Any man. Can you let him get to you? Mum, he is just a selfish brat. He's jealous. He wants you all to himself, running after him. That's what Phil says. Well, he's right. David's been a right pain since Martin left. He doesn't like Phil, does he? He said he threw him against the wall. What? Well, you know why he's saying that, don't you? He wants to split you up. Come here, Mum. I did not put my children second. Oh, Hi. Hi. On your own? I'm waiting for Gail. I see Eileen Grimshaw's on the prowl again. A woman can't chat to a man, can she? Without you blackening her character. Is she your neighbour? Eileen, yes. Yeah, I bumped into her the other day. Is that not a husband with her? Eileen Grimshaw? She's never had a ring on her wedding finger. But she has had two sons from different fathers. And one of them turned out to be a homosexual. Uh, not the father, that is. The son. Mind, there's no knowing with her. 
trouble follows her around like a bad smell. So, is it a boyfriend? If you're fishing to see if Eileen's single, yes, she is. Hi. Ed, we met the other day. Oh, uh, yeah, you're a uh, relative of uh, Emily's. No, we go to the same church. Oh, right. Right, who's first? The lady is. Um, I'll have uh, vodka and coke, please, Charles. All right. Can I buy you that? Oh, you're all right. You sure? Only this is not really my money, you see. I didn't put into the collection box on Sunday, so I've got a few more extra coins in my pocket than usual. Mind you, not as much as I sometimes have when I dip into the box. It's a joke. Oh, oh. I wasn't sure you'd be coming. Sorry. Needed a bit of time. Look, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Sorry I didn't listen to you. You were right. David's been calling all the shots and I've been running around trying to please him. It's since Richard. I've been overcompensating and he's taken advantage. I'm sorry you got caught up in it. Are you all right? No, not really. Not nice, is it, realising you're being stupid? Did he say anything else about me? No more than he's already said. I'm not in the mood to sit here. Why don't we go back to mine? What about David? Oh, well, never mind about David. Well, why don't we get a bottle of wine on the way? That sounds like a very good idea. Mum's been crying because of you. So? You're not big, you know. Behave like a spoiled kid. That right? Yeah. She hit me. I know. He threw me across the room. Oh, David, get your stories right. You told Mum that he rammed you up against the wall. He did. He pulled me out of that chair, he chucked me over there and he had me against the wall. Yeah, of course he did. I'm not lying. David, are you going to keep this up forever? I keep telling you, Mum is entitled to a life of her own. We're going to go soon, then what? You'll regret this, Sarah. One day, one day when he snaps at you, then you'd wish you believed me. And you know what? When he does snap and he hits you or Bethany, I'll laugh right in your face. I hired the um, sequel a couple of weekends back. Nah, don't bother. It's not nearly as good as the first one we saw. Who's David talking to? Marty. Ever. Sarah's OK. Mum's fine. Here. Um, nothing much happening, really. Oh, all right, I'll let you get back. I'll see you when you come up. All right, bye-bye. Dad says hello. Is there any more bread left for me sandwiches? Uh, no, I'll give you some dinner money. It's all right, I think I've got some left out of that. Tanya, you give me. OK. Morning. Morning. Sit down. Help yourself. Uh, Bethany, sweetheart, your breakfast's on the table. Come up and get it. Don't do that on my account. She'll look really cosy there on the sofa. No, it's rude. She should come and sit with the rest of us. Come on, Beth. Ah! Oh! <laughs> right, right, these are for you. Oh, I, I thought someone as uh, busy as yourself might not make it as far as the corner shop. Thank you, Keith. That's very kind. I was uh, wondering uh, when we might get together again. Uh, I've been thinking uh, even you will have to take a break at some point. Some fresh air? Fresh air? Well, just the two of us. It's just that I feel that the last few times we've seen each other, it's been about, well, it's been about other people. I can't imagine what made you think that. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly had you got in mind? Oh, don't worry. I know that you like your hair stale. Like in the Rovers? Oh, well, if it's a drink you're talking about. <laughs> I'll walk you back. Uh, uh, look, do you mind if I just swap these bickies? Because uh, the girls aren't very partial to these. <laughs> mind if I join you? Or is this a romantic lunch for two? I've got to go back to work. And I'm going shopping. Oh, I am. Lady of leisure. Do you need any money? No, sir. Right, I'll see you later. Ciao. Did I just see you right? You turning down cash? I've got more than enough. Can I come in? Mum's not here. But you are. 
Maybe we can sort out our misunderstanding. We should try and get along. For Gail's sake. I really like your mother. I want to make her happy. You baited me. You know that. Now you're doing it again. I'm not going to rise to it. Careful. I can see that nice guy image slipping again. You can stir it up all you like, David. I'm not going anywhere. Neither am I. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said you could help out after school. So? So it's a bit early, isn't it? The place we're doing my head in. Ain't that being useful? That is not the point. Not like I don't know the business. Man, it's in the blood. Hey, what's all that? Present from the girls. All right. For the twins? For me. Listen, Shelley's got all my numbers, right? Because I know when it's happening, uh, in the middle of the night, any time. I'm tired, I want to go upstairs. Well, well, can I help? I'm all right. Why don't you just talk? Say you're sorry. You saw the reaction I just got. She does seem like harder work than my mum. Oh, you know, I have tried every way that I know how. Thing is, right, mm. you need to try it my way. It never fails. What's that? Just keep nagging her. Looks like they're keen to come out. Oh. Probably arguing about who's going to be first. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Bottle of vodka, please. Uh, uh, a quarter, half a full. Oh, just, just a quarter. Be more than enough. So it's three forty-five, please. Except that, how much is the half? Hmm. Uh, six seventy. Oh, so that's a saving. Yeah, on two quarters bought separately, uh, precisely twenty pence. Yeah. And the full? At thirteen oh five. Oh, so you save even more. Yeah, 75p on four quarters bought separately or 35 on two halves, so you will be, yep. Yeah. I think I'll take a full then. Be silly not to. I suppose it will be, so it's 30 no five, please. Then, of course, there'll be a budget soon, won't there? It's going to go up even more. Will it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, 6 95 uh, makes 20, thank you. Thank you. Fred? Sunita's just gone into labour. She's in the hospital. Not on her own. Shelley's with her. I just thought, if anyone should know, it's the husband. I'm her husband. I have a right to be in there with her. Hospital policy comes first. I know all right. about hospital policy. I'm not talking about hospital policy. I'm talking about my rights as a human being. Yeah, your wife also has Ask rights. Her why. She doesn't want me in there. Have you asked her why? No, I no, it's because of things I did years ago, before I even knew her, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go back and live my life again, which I would if I could just tell me how. Can anyone just tell me how to do that? I'm sorry. No, he won't be allowed in unless you want to see him. I don't. How many more times do I have to say? What's he saying? What they usually say. We can always get security to move him if he becomes a nuisance. They usually hang around for a while and then disappear. Not Dev. He's never going to disappear. Well, everybody seems to know you. You must come here a lot. Always have. A lot more than I've ever gone to church. You <laughs> love your fellow man, so what's more natural than wanting to come and have a drink with him? <laughs> right, the Bible class we're trying to organise. Yes. Sunday, 7 o'clock, St Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Sounds fine to me. <laughs> well, that's that organised. Cheers. Cheers. Change of mind. Apparently, there's something she wants to say to you. I'll leave you with him, shall I? But don't go far. No, no, I won't. I I'll only be out there. Yeah. Right. I'll get you. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be here with you. You're only here because I want you to see why I'm going. Ow! <laughs> I said, can't you, uh, can't you do something? I mean, can't you give her something? She's already got everything she needs. She will be all right. I want you to see what I am going through. Do you know why? So you'll know that these babies are mine. They're not yours. Oh, of course, of course they're yours, but they're mine also. I mean, they're mine and yours, yes? No, you betrayed them like you betrayed me. Please I betrayed our unborn children. Yes. I'm just going to do some more videos, yeah, okay. okay. Right, I'm off, ma'am. Might be home late tonight. Charlie wants me on this job we're finishing. 
Right, you've met Ed, haven't you? Nice to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Val, it's been giving me looks like she wants me dead. And if you get a chance, you might as well tell her the reason Sarah ended up in my bed is because she was up to with Charlie, all right? Bye. Yeah, all right, bye. Hey, Sunita, darling, all I want to do, all I ever <gasps> want to do is to look after you and our children. <laughs> Sunita, take a breath and then another push, yeah? Right, take my hand. <gasps> Come on! <laughs> Right, now that's wonderful. <laughs> okay, and now we're doing this together. And you're not on your own anymore, and you never will be. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Get a cab? It'll be great to see you. I'll cook us a nice meal or something. All right, bye bye. I was right. He did ring. He rang, and that mother of his answered, then lied to me, told me to my face that it wasn't Jamie. Can you believe that? Look at him. <laughs> it's our son. I have a son. I know you're tired, Sunita, but just one more effort, yeah? yeah. Oh, yes, and I'm still here with you, darlings. Oh, come on. Come on, we can do this together, yes? Just relax a minute. Just take a few deep breaths. Number two ain't quite ready to come out yet. And we can do that, yes? So come on now, relax. Deep breaths. Huh. Back on the booze, are we? I'm just having a drink. See, I can now. Same as you. Same as anybody. A drink? That's half a bottle you've had. Well, no, actually. See, I had an accident as I was opening it and quite a lot of it got spilt and went down the sink. A glass is all I've had. You just can't stop lying, can you, Carol? You're lying to me now, just like you lied to me this morning. Lied to you this morning? What are you talking about? Jamie rang. Said he'd be home today, yeah? No, he didn't. I told you it wasn't him. And he told me it was, cos I just spoke to him on his mobile. So you know, so why are you asking? Cos I want to know why, Carol. Why you lied to me. Why? You really want to know why? Yeah, I do. To protect him protect him. And what is it that you lying to me is protecting him from, eh? Don't think. I don't know what your game is. My game? I know what you're trying to do. Now his father's gone, you're trying to get Jamie to take his place. And what place is that? In your bed. You're trying to get Jamie in your bed. You evil cow. You are trying to seduce my son and take him away from me, just like you seduced his father. Only difference is, this time, I know what your game is, and I'm not going to let it happen. You said this to Jamie. I don't have to. He already knows. Smile, Mum. Like Dad's already doing. I'm going to be smiling for the rest of my life. I'm a dad. Well, it's hardly news, is it? It's, it's, it's Anita, she gave birth yesterday. Oh, yeah. right, sorry, yeah. sorry, mate. Nice one. What'd you get? A boy and a girl. I was there. I saw them arrive. Hey, so, uh, at the birthday, yeah. getting back together? Oh, you know, not yet, but, uh, you're working on it. I'm working on it. How's the hangover? I don't. I am disappointed. I really thought you'd cracked it this time. You don't know how hard it is for me. I know how hard it is for you to keep your mouth shut. What? Frankie was really weird with me this morning. She couldn't wait to get to work. Well, some days are like that. How would you know? 
I mean, yeah, you can wait to get to work because you're an alky working in a pub. But I think Frankie's desperate for pies. It wouldn't do her any harm as it happens, skinny min. You've said something. I haven't. I wouldn't. I'm sorry, darling. I, I should never have opened my trap in the first place. I, I didn't mean to stir things up. I love you. No. You love booze and trouble. Don't say that. It isn't like you. How would you know? I know you. Yeah, right. You haven't been getting to know me. You've just been gathering ammo, trying to think of the worst possible thing you could say to me. That is not true. And then you said it. Getting revenge because I chose that instead of you. I was ten! I don't hold that against you. Yeah, well, I hold it against you. What are you doing here? What are you for? Where are you going with them flowers? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an hospital. Sunita gave birth. Boy and a girl. You're joking! Yeah. I've got a brother and sister. Yep. Oh, how are they? Well, they're great. Yeah, they're doing really well. We're going to see them, aren't we? No, I am. You're not. Why can't I go? Yeah, well, you can, but not now. We wait till you're invited. Hello again. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me. And how's the lovely Eileen? Oh, I get lovelier with every drink. Oh, that's impossible. Look, permanent beer goggles invented at last. Where do I get my fair? You know, there is a line between self-deprecation and self-hatred. You're a very attractive woman. I tell you what, I'll um, I'll be somewhere else, shall I? Okay. What she said to you? Don't take any notice of her. She's a sicko. She has said something now, hasn't she? Nothing that matters. Uh, she um. She reckons that I fancy you. Don't be daft. But that's what she says. I'm worried that she might be right. Quit, Jamie. She says she can see it. The way that I am with you, and even if I don't realise it, that it's obvious. She said the same to me. I don't make it true. Or that I fancy you. No, the other way round. I was after you. I can't believe you took her seriously. How long have we lived in the same house, eh? Don't be stupid. Why has she done this to us? We were all right. We still are. Where is she? She knew what I wanted to talk to you about. Probably took that as a cue to go on a massive bender. You didn't really think she was right, did you? Well, I look at my dad, Ridley Ann, and what he's done, and suddenly anything seems possible. That's Danny's problem. Don't mean everything's gone rotten. I'd never think of you like that. Silly. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, my boy. But not like that. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Carol? I'm supposed to know what that means, am I? You're so sanctimonious. Hello, darling. What are you grinning at? I know what you said. Frankie told me. That's what she does. Because she brought me up. She's my mum. She can't ever be that. You don't know what I've been through for you. I know what you're putting us through. I am not lying. I've seen it. There's something going on between you two. You're pathetic. I give it a month, and now Danny's gone, you two will be at it like knives. Why don't you shut up? I'm glad I'm not in your head, Carol. And get out! What? You heard me. You want to be alone? You're evil. You know, I've tried to understand. You drink because you're abandoned, but you're a vicious crank because you're a drunk. There's no excuse. It's you. It's what you're like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blame the mother, as always. He's right. I felt guilty about you for years, but everything that's happened to you is your own fault. You could be on ten grand a week, you'd figure out a way to mess it up. Well, I've had enough. I want you out. What, and leave you two in your love nest? I'm staying. Someone's got to stop you. Do you want me to kick you down the street? Go, Carol. 
Well, if I do, I'm going to tell everybody what I know. I'm going right over to tell Danny. Say what you like. Everybody is going to know about you perverts. You only get one mother, Jamie, and it is always going to be me. Don't do this. Don't choose her, please. Come away with me, Jamie, please. Listen to me. I can't you... live without you. What's going to happen to me? Listen Jamie, to me. no, please. Be quiet. Listen to me. This is it. We will never see each other again. So don't write, don't phone, don't do anything. Just go away and don't come back. I wish I'd never found you. No, Jamie. You don't mean that. Goodbye, Carol. Stay with your whore, then. I know what you want! You are making a big mistake! It's me you need. I know what you want! It's me you need. I love you. I love our children. Please come back to me. The nursery's waiting, and I'll help. I'll take time off work. Dev, stop, stop, stop. I'm glad you were at the birth. But I know what kind of man you are now. I change. I can't trust you. I don't see a father. I see a liar. A man who'd abandon his own children without a thought. No, I wouldn't. You have. And I won't let my children be with a man like that. A father has to be constant. I will be. You won't. Because I won't let you. What? You're seeing them now, but that's it. I'm a single mother, and I don't want you anywhere near them. Are you serious? It's better for us. Well, did you think I was going to accept that? Did you think that I was going to let you tell me what's going to happen? These are my children. You're used to abandoning your children. No! Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. No, it's not, actually. Um... I'd like him to go now, please. He's upsetting the babies. What? And I won't have that. I'm not going anywhere. I say you will have to leave, otherwise I'll call security. You're throwing me out? I offered to take you back, you ungrateful cow! You're having nothing to do with my children. Like you had nothing to do with the others. I will be their father. This is the life. This is how it's meant to be. You what? Oh, I'm free, Anna. The world's my lobster. I can do what I want, when I want. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, I'm thrilled for you. Makes me wonder why I'll go to work. Oh, yeah, so as you don't have to. Silly me. Yeah, well, it's not my fault you earn all the money. You're just cleverer than me. Am I? Funny, cos that's what Frankie used to say. She waved me off the work in her dressing gown every morning. Don't add up somehow. Yeah, but the difference is, I deserve this. I mean, I've grafted hard for next and out most of my life. More than that, lazy cow. Turn it in, Lee. It's from her solicitor. Oh, what does she want now? Half of everything. Cheeky cow! If she thinks she's just going to hand it to her on the plate, then she can think again. Yeah, well, she'd be right, wouldn't she? I did the dirty on her, remember? Of course you do, you was there. Yeah, well, she chose this. You begged her to forgive you and she wouldn't. It's not like she's whiter than white. Yeah, but Jamie was, and this is payback time, I suppose, isn't it? At least Frankie will be able to look after him, even Jamie's if I can't. Jamie's a he can look after himself, so can she. It's what we've got to think about. But, Leanne, that is where we come in, sweetheart. Yeah, well, maybe. But here we are. It's here and now, innit? And the sooner you realise that and stop pining for what's gone, the better. Oh, bye, then. I hope this ain't going to be a regular thing. If you can't hack it, pack it in, cos they ain't going to bail you out every time. You're the one that's huffing and puffing, sunshine. I'm in fine fettle, me. Anyone can oversleep. Especially after a few pints. Here we go. There's no getting away from this place. I'm scared, Shell. Well, it's only natural. And you've got some bad memories of it. It's not the past. I've no time to waste on that. 
look at him. I'm the only thing they've got. I feel sorry for him. Give over. They're the luckiest kids alive. I've forgotten everything they said in the hospital. What if something happens in the night? There's no nurses. There's just me. Nothing's going to happen. You're going to be a wonderful mother. I thought you was playing golf. I cancelled. Did you? Well, if you must know, I'm having lunch with Jamie. I see. Why don't you join us? I don't think it'd be good for his digestion, do you? Well, he can't be angry with you forever. Well, I would. Same as you with Adam. Oh, yeah, well, you can't blame me for being annoyed with Adam, can you? He didn't come home last night. No, I don't mind him putting it about a bit. Good luck to you, but... He could at least phone if he was kipping elsewhere. Now, where is he? He's in Scotland, Michael. What? Well, you chucked him out, you remember? When he had that affair with Penny. He's been there ever since. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies who lunch is supposed to lunch, you know. I didn't spend 30 quid on a new lippy to get it smudged with battered sausages. How much? It's reduced. Yeah, it meant the tears probably, Lee. Have you forgotten about Frankie and her pound of flesh or what? Oh, how bad's it gonna be, really? I mean, once Mike cops it, we'll get the lot anyway. And even if Frankie does get half of everything, we'll still have the villa, the flat. Of course, the why was I worrying? You make it all sound so straightforward, love. Well, it is, isn't it? Penny and Adam are out of the picture, so is Mark. Well, that's where you're wrong, see. Mike just ain't round the twist, love. He's doing laps. He's coming to work this morning and starting to ask where Adam was. Really? I thought that'd get your attention. For all we know, he could be round Penny's right now, sweet as nut, like nothing's happened. So what are you going to do? You make me die, you. See, a minute ago, it was we. Now it's you, me, I. Well, I'm going to have to take control of the situation, you know, and take control of Michael before he does something stupid. Well, how? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to get him to change the will and make sure I'm sole heir. Oh, well, he's never going to agree to that, is he? Well, the state he's in at the moment, he could agree to anything. I've just got to pick me time, do you know what I'm saying? What are they? There's a ski trip from school. Don't worry, I'm not going. Mum and Dad can't afford it. You're disappointed? No, not really. You'd never make it from where they hide to Obergergo and back. Over where? <laughs> Obergergo. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Someone's coming quickly for put some clothes on. Rosie? 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 What's been going on? How could you? How could you after everything we've been through? Get out. Get out now! I'm so sorry, Mum. No, she's not. Neither of us are. We trusted you. We trusted you and you stand there. I love Rosie and we're going to be together. Out! <laughs> Out! And don't you dare come near this house, near her ever again, do you hear me? You're wasting your breath. Nothing you're going to say is going to make any odds. If you don't clear off, I swear I'll... You'd better go. I'm not leaving you with her. Please, I'll be OK. Some clothes on. <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry. No, he's right. You're not sorry. You don't care about me, Rosie, are you, Dad? do. I know you've made sacrifices. And I'm grateful. What, and you show it by being knocked up on the front room sofa? A sofa that we're still paying for because of your school fees. Oh, what a waste. What a flaming, stupid waste. I won't get pregnant, Mum. Give us some credit. 
Oh, I already have, and look where we are. I tried to understand you, Rosie, to treat you like an adult. That means let me make my own decisions. That's what adults do, isn't it? Well, if anything proves you're still a child, it's this. You don't realise how fleeting your chances are. What heartbreak and frustration and disappointment means because you know nothing about life. Because you won't let me find out. <laughs> let me make mistakes if that's what you... Some mistakes you live with for the rest of your life and they go with you always. Not yours, though. We're not chucking it in after all we've been through. Get your coat. Why? What are you gonna do? I said, get your coat! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what are you doing? Where are we going? Oi! Leave her alone! You hate me now! Where are we going? We're going to the medical centre. I'm not taking any chances. There's no need for we're careful. You're mad! You're just jealous because me and Craig are in love. Oh, you flaming, stupid girl! You've got no idea, have you? What you and Craig were doing isn't love. This is. Oh, man. There's no need for me. Shut up. Have you ever heard of safe sex? Be quiet. We don't want everybody knowing our business. Cut it over. Lisa? We need to see a doctor. What's the matter? Well, I think that's between us and the doctor, don't you? Yes. OK. Um, well, I'm afraid I can't fit you in today. Well, you'll have to. This is an emergency. Would you be better in A&E? No. But it's still urgent. Look, you've got a daughter, Gail. You know what it's like. We need to see a doctor right now. OK. You take a seat, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, what's going on? Well, um, why would a mum drag her to the health centre like that? Well, for a checkup, probably. She doesn't need a checkup. We use protection. Yeah. Okay. We're not kids, you know. We know what we're doing. Well, that as may be, but I'm going after. No, hang on, Craig. Hang on, hang on. Now, I don't think that's such a good idea right now. Audrey's right, Craig. I take it Sally's found you and Rosie up to no good, huh? We were having sex, Audrey, all right? And we were sensible. She won't get pregnant and she won't catch anything. Now, will you please get out my Craig, way? Craig, Craig, now listen, I know you've been through a lot, love. If you go running after Rosie now, you're just going to make matters worse. Just leave Rosie and her mum to sort it out between the two of them now, right? Lee said soon as mended all that. What we should do is take you for a big fancy meal at the clock tonight. We should, should we? Yeah, get in, relax. Get in there. Oi, 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 you've already had all the meals you're getting out of me today, love. It's not for me, you clown, it's for Mike. He's in there now with Jamie and Frankie. So? So? Who knows what they might be saying to him? Who cares? They could be telling him to make it up to Adam for all we know, and until we've got everything in black and white, we need to box clever. I don't box any other way, darling. Good. Right then, so, we wind him and dine him, get the uh, subject onto his will, no, you then once we've done that, you can then volunteer to make an appointment at his solicitor. No, you have got Listen, once the appointment's made, then you just have to stick it in his diary and make sure that he doesn't forget about it. Just keep jogging his memory. Lee. Listen, just do it. Ring it now, book a table for three, yeah? I am not coughing up for three courses for three people just to talk Michael into going to his solicitors. It's simple. All I've got to... I'll just take him to the pub after work. That's it. What happened to that bird you took a shine to? You know, the one you couldn't make up your mind what to do about. I told you. Nothing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You chickened out, didn't you? Yeah. It's about time you found yourself a new girlfriend, isn't it, Mike? Oh, yeah, good-looking boy like you, the things you've got. What's it called? Uh, you pick them up off your parents, a scientific name. Um... Jeans. Yeah, that's it, jeans. I thought you'd be fighting them off with a stick. I'm just waiting for the right one to come along, you know. What about Violet down the bar? She seems nice. Yeah, you could do worse. Maybe, I'll think about it. Jeez. I don't mind thinking about it. You've been doing too much of that lately. Just go for it. She's been a silly girl. 
And she's made a big mistake. And I hate to say it, I'm ashamed to say it. But she needs the morning after pill. I see. How old are you, Rosie? Fifteen, she is. Just turned fifteen. And was this your first time? So it was your boyfriend, was it? And how old's he? He's fifteen as well. Right. OK, well, I was fifteen once. I know what it's like. But you need to look after yourself, you know. Oh, I'm sick of telling you, Doctor. It's not just the risk of pregnancy. There are any number of infections. Some of them are just very unpleasant. Some of them can actually kill you. I know all this. Oh, she thinks she knows it all. That's a problem. So, what happened? Did you get carried away in the heat of the moment? No. So you thought it was worth the risk? There was no risks. I had safe sex. We used protection. So, why do you want me to give you the morning after pill? I don't. She does. Well, tell her there's no such thing as safe sex, especially at her age. Accidents still happen. Well, maybe it's not the morning after pill that we should be discussing, but contraception in general. She's had illegal underage sex and you want to talk about contraception. But if Rosie says that she's been protecting us... Yeah, well, we, we can't take her word for it. After today, I'll never take her word again. I don't care what she says, she's having the pill, whether she wants it or not. Like any medication, Mrs Webster... There are side effects, some quite unpleasant side effects. Nausea, abdominal pain, headaches. Yeah, well, she should have thought about that before, shouldn't she? I'm not being funny, but it sounds like you're just trying to punish her. She's broken the law! I am sorry, Mrs Webster, but Rosie is the patient here and not you, and there is no way that I am going to prescribe unnecessary medication just as some kind of punishment. So, in other words, you're condoning it? No, but I have to treat well, all... Well, I get it. I'll go somewhere else. Come on, Rosie. The Ducks! Oh. Jack. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, well, it's not bad, that, is it? It's, it? it's fantastic. Right, well, we can go now. Uh, hold on. I've never seen you looking so good, Jack. Thank you, Blanche. That's the way you should always look. Keep it buttoned, Blanche. No, you keep it buttoned for everyone's sake. Yeah, I'm going to go have a closer look. I take it you're wanting a favour. No, no, not at all. I just think an old man like you, he needs to look after his pennies. <laughs> Bit late for that. And you ain't talking money, are you? No. Listen, Mike, I think what's happened is for the best. I really do. All you've got to do now is know you can trust, eh? And as for that idea of yours about cutting Adam out of the will, I mean, you ain't done anything about it yet, have you? No. Oh, well, are you sure it's the right thing to do? I mean, really? Oh, OK, I know, Penny and Adam. I mean, they did the dirty on you in the worst possible way, and it was disgusting what they did. Bang out of order. I mean, your own son and your fiance enough to drive anyone nuts, wouldn't it? Really? All right, what about you and Leanne? Well, yeah, exactly. Precisely. And I'm hoping one day, Jamie will forgive me. <laughs> You'll be lucky. Well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. And I wouldn't blame him if he didn't. And no-one's blaming you. Not a person in this pub or down the street would blame you if you didn't forgive Adam. And as for him and Penny wanting to get their hands on your half of the business after you've gone off, you've worked all your life so hard to build that business up. Of course, it's bound to send you around a twist a bit, innit, it? Eh? And it's no walking apart for me either, by the way, as it happens, cos I don't want to work with them. But what happens, Michael, if you go ahead, change your will now, like you're planning to do, and then a couple of years down the line, you finally learn to forgive Adam for that despicable thing that he's done to you? That'll never happen. OK, well, it's got nothing to do with me. It's your decision. You're the boss. Fair enough. It's just that I'll tell you what, I... in fact, I've got to speak to the solicitor in the morning. Do you want me to make an appointment for you? No, nope. I can make my own appointments, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. right, my round, I'll get them in and then I'll be off. What do you want? Oh, uh, half a lager, thanks. Right. Half a lager, please, will I? OK. I told you to wait in a flat. Yeah, I know, but I thought you might need some moral support. Moral is hardly the word, love, you know what I mean? You've oh. done it again, haven't you? You know what to do. This is a joke, right? No joke. 
I don't believe a word you say anymore and I'm not taking any chances. You can't do this. <laughs> you heard what the doctor said about side effects. Just take the pill, Rosie. No. Just to be on the safe side. No. <laughs> it's not a pork chop. It's not some stupid teenage fad. It could be your whole future, and I swear to God, I will physically force it down your throat if I have to. <laughs> Many a time when you're little, your dad had to hold you still while I gave you your antibiotics. <laughs> you used to scream and cry and struggle because you didn't realise he was doing you any good and you hated the taste. <laughs> It broke my heart to do it, but I had no choice. And I will do it again if I have to. <laughs> Take your medicine, Rosie. It's vital, Kevin, that Rosie takes this second tablet. Do you want to do it? No. No. Because you don't like the difficult option, do you, Kevin? I'm not sure I like any of this. All right, well, you take Sophie to school and I'll... Well, I'll just have to manage, won't I? Well, I thought I told you. Well, maybe you did. You're losing your memory. Be careful. That's the first sign of, um, what do you call it? Senility. Yeah, first sign of senility. No, I, I remember you did talk about changing your will, but uh, now you're actually saying you've made an appointment to see a solicitor. Yep, good to see him this afternoon. Nice one. Do everything we talked about, get him to change the will, making you so, um, oh, what's the word? Lucky geezer, heir? Yeah, that's it. Soul heir. That's what was all that about. Then, as if that wasn't bad enough, she went and got the morning after pill. She forced me to take it. Think you're No. She just wants me to have a bad time. Is she going out? No, she's gone out. Right, I'll come round and see you. She won't be long. She's only gone to the shops. So, what's she going to do? Make me take pills as well? No, we should go mental. Look, okay, but come round the back. Tell if I say they will be there in the morning, they are going to be there in the morning. Hello, love. Mike's gone where? I told you to see a solicitor. No. Yes? Why do you have to question everything I say? He's on the roof. Tell, I'll ring you back. What do you mean he's on the roof? Well, maybe that's where he thinks he's meeting his solicitor. Or maybe he's just admiring the view. But yeah, that's where he is on the roof of this factory. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on in his head? What's she doing up there anyway? I was just looking around. Now, did we, or did we not, have a storeroom up there? A storeroom? No, all we've ever had up there is fresh air. Ah. I must be thinking about the old factory then. You wouldn't remember that. No. I think you preferred it, really. Well, come on then, let's go and have a drink. Uh, Mike, didn't you have an appointment to see a solicitor? Did I? When? Well, today. I mean, that's where you were going. Hey, I tell you what, why don't you let Danny take you? You can do that, can't you? Well, if Mike wants you. Well, I'm sure Mike doesn't mind being chauffeured around, do you? <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't mind at all. All right, then, we'll tell you what, why don't you two go and I'll stay here and look after this place, eh? Yeah, all right. So, Mike, with solicitors, you do know where it is, don't you? Of course I know where it is. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> You gonna try and get out tonight? I don't know if I want to. I want to see you. It's just. No, yeah, sure. Be back at school though tomorrow. Oh, she's here. What are you doing here? I came to see Rosie. Even though you know you're not allowed in this house. Yo, know, I wouldn't have come round if she was allowed out. But she can't because the pills you've given her. Is that meant to be clever? No. It's true though. 
Come on, get out. Can I just say something before I go? No! What? I know what you're doing. It's because you're Rosie's dad. You're looking out for her and wanting what's best for her. But I'm the same. I just want to look after her the same as you do. Look after her? Having sex, you mean? No. You know he doesn't. Look, I'm not going to stand here arguing. Go on. Get out of this house and don't come back till I say so. And when will that be? When I decide, OK? What are you going to tell Mum? I'll tell whoever I decide to tell. But if I don't tell her, if, it doesn't mean I approve or I'm on your side, all right? OK. It just means I want a quiet life now and again. Mike, how are you? Oh, well, you know, it's great to see you. Only you haven't been getting down to the club like you used to. Not that too much on. Let me introduce my son. Danny, this is Phil. How do you do? Nice to meet you. But I just wanted to say to you, Kevin, when you come home tonight, no sympathy. We've got to keep this up. Keep what up? What we're doing. Stopping us seeing this lout that lives across the road. Because the longer we keep them apart, the more likely it is he's going to forget about her and go and chase somebody else. Unless he loves her, of course. That's precisely what I meant. What is? When I said no sympathy. I mean, we don't talk about love or anything like that, because that lout has... Well, I'm not even going to say it. I just don't want them seeing each other ever again, all right? You're the boss. Yes, but do you agree? Yes, I agree. I agree. Ah. Oh. This is where you're hiding. Not for much longer. So, what happened with Mike? Well, what happened was, we went to the solicitors and he drew up a new will. Which says? You know what it says, Lee. That we, you, you get everything. I'm a soul heir, yeah. Well done. Was it? Well, it don't feel it somehow. Know what it feels like? Like we've been playing a game against someone who ain't up to it anymore. Somebody whose defences ain't what they used to be. I think it's called taking advantage of an old man. <laughs> well, call it what you like. You ain't got any conscience at all, have you? Me? Yeah, you. You'd do anything to get what you want, wouldn't you? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. I thought this was about getting what you wanted. Yes, it is, but I had someone pushing me all the time, whispering in my ear, telling me what to do next. Oh, right. So it's all my fault, is it? I've done everything. You've played your part, yeah. More than your part. All oh, right. Well, thanks. Oh, and don't worry, because there'll be no more pushing or whispering. From now on, you're on your own. It's a bit early for you, innit? I thought you said I couldn't come home until I found myself another girlfriend. I said no such thing, and you know it. So you're having another drink, then? No, I'm all right, thanks. Dry white, please, Violet. Right, dry white. So, are we going out later, then? <laughs> I'm working. Not forever, you're not. No one works forever. When are you off? Uh, Sunday. Sunday is. I'll pick you up. Yeah, OK. I apologise, right? I shouldn't have suggested that you made me do what I don't like. Mike. I already told you, Mike's done it to himself. Yes, because... Yes, because I led him along. I made him believe stuff that just ain't true. Let's, let's not get into that. I, I, I shouldn't have blamed you, all right? You know what I think? What do you think? I think that we are just as bad as each other. That's why we're so good together. Right. The marriage made in, well, I was going to say heaven, but it's the other place, don't you reckon? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm. Which is why, if we stick together, we're unbeatable. You might be right. Come on, Rosie. She's already gone. What? A new letter? Yeah. Well, I'll have to go and get her back then, cos you know where she'll be. She'll be over the road with him, you idiot. Look, stop it, Sal. You've got to let her go. 
What are you saying? That we just leave them to it? She told me she'd go to school. What, and you believed her? I don't know. All I do know is we've got to start trusting her. I don't believe this. In case you've forgotten, we did trust her and look what happened. Oh, so what are you going to do? Chaperone her everywhere she goes? If I have to, yes. Well, we can't, Sal. You know that. Face it, it's not working. The more we try to keep them apart, the more determined they are to be together. So what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we should just accept it. Leave him to it. Let it burn itself out. What? Well, what's done's done. They've already slept together. We can't turn the clock back. Yeah, but we can stop it going forward. I can't believe you're just giving up. And I can't believe you thrusting that pill down her throat when she'd already told you to took precautions. I mean, what was that about, eh? Yeah, well, I had to make sure, didn't I? What would you rather, a sat back like you and do nothing and watch her ruin her life? Well, I'm sorry, Kevin, but I want more for her than a couple of kids in a backstreet terrorist. And what about what Rosie wants, eh? Oh, don't know come into it. Not till she's 18, no. Yeah. Well, at this rate, you won't have her that long. Because as soon as she can, she'll be out that door and away. And I can't say I blame her. It's all right. Hello? Hiya, um, I've got an appointment at half four. Right. Mum not with you? Does it look like it? I've got a Veruca. Craig said he'd come with me. You don't have to explain yourself to her. It's none of the business. And even if it was, she can't stay out. She could lose her job. Take a seat. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Only I missed the bus, and then I had to drag this lot up all them stairs. I've come to register my twins. Right, just a few standard things to go through. Are you the baby's mother? Well, yeah, obviously. I didn't just nick them to do this. Like I say, they're just standard. Right. Sorry. And your name is? It's Anita Allahan. And where were the babies born? Weatherfield General. And what do you want to call them? Asha. That's A-S-H-A and Addi, double A-D-I. Oh. What? Mrs. Allahan, they've already been registered. No, they haven't. Yesterday. By your husband. Well, that's a great time to turn up, isn't it? An hour before we close. Uh, you've forgotten. What? Well, I'm going to Spain, I told you. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I said I was going to Spain to play golf. Oh, well, that's great. For how long? Don't know. Couple of weeks, see how it goes. I did tell you, didn't I? Yeah, it's starting to ring a bell now, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I've just popped in to, um... Um... Say goodbye? <laughs> no. No, it was something else. It's... This is catching, you know, this is... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all the orders are in hand, so it's not... Well, it's something to do with Adam. Mike, he's in Scotland. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, I want you to look after the flat while I'm away. Stay in it, if you like. Better than that bed sit of yours. Blinding. Cheers, I might do that. <laughs> yeah, OK. Oh, hey. You did post that letter to Mark, didn't you? Yeah, of course I did. Why? Well, it's very strange he hasn't been in touch. Do you think something's wrong? Uh, of course not, no. He'll get round to it. And, he, and you better go. You miss your tea off time, won't you? Hey, do you remember when I took you round for your first round of golf, eh? How old would you be? About 13, eh? Must have been one of the others, Mike. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Anyway, I'll keep in touch. You do that. What have you been using so far? <coughs> Condoms. Well, you should carry on using them too. Does that mean...? I'll put you on the pill, yes. I'm not particularly happy about it, but I'd be even less happy if you came in asking for a pregnancy test. Come in. Thanks. So, where are those twins? Mm -hmm. They're asleep. Hmm? They've had a long day. Yeah. They're exhausted, like me. Well, listen, babe, is there anything you want me to do, anything at all, you yeah. just have to...? There is, actually. I want you to explain to me why you had the cheek, the nerve, 
the audacity to go and register the twins behind my back. <sighs> Baby, it wasn't behind your back. I just tried to save your trip. Yeah, well, you didn't. Do you realise how much effort it took to get them ready? Drag them halfway across town, on and off buses with that thing, only to find at the end of it I had a wasted journey? You're right. Well, I'm sorry, and I tried to tell you this morning... Well, you should have asked me! Why do I need to ask them? My kids, too! It was something special. Something I was really looking forward to. Yeah, and to. so was I! But you weren't going to let me in on it, were you? And you know why I'm sick of tiptoeing around you, waiting for any crumbs that you may feel like handing out? Because every time I see them, I ache. I want to hold them so much, and every time I hear them cry, my guts turn inside out. So you want to punish me? You already have. So please, please, let's just stop this now. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Do you think I'm playing some kind of game to get back at you? Well, it's not, Dev. This is a result of what you did. And I'm busy trying to pick up the pieces that you haven't trampled on. Babe, there's got to be some way through this. Do you think I haven't looked for one? Proud moment, Nate. So, is this what success tastes of, then? What do you mean? Well, we've done it. You've changed the will, and you get the lot. Oh, mm -hmm. Factory, this place, villa in Spain, Dosh. Yeah, you're right, the lot. I knew it was worth sticking with you. But that is only when he's dead. Yeah, well, he's losing his marbles, so it can't be that long. Hang on, love. I mean, firstly, he's ill, but it don't mean to say he's going to pop his clogs tomorrow. And secondly, I don't want him to either. Well, no, yeah, I know, of course you don't. Although, oh, what I do want... Is to live in luxury? What I do want is for the factory to be as productive as it can be, right? It is a good, solid business. What I don't want, however, is Michael forgetting orders and having to write more checks than he's got to, and that's where the power of attorney comes in. Yeah, well, that's what you're getting. Yes, but I can't get power of attorney without his say-so, can I? You're joking. No. Well, I thought you just got it because he's lost the plot. It ain't as simple as that, love. <laughs> well, I can't see him agreeing to that, just signing everything over to you. Ah, yeah. Well, that's where the law shines down on yours truly, doesn't it? Because we know Michael's ill, right? And we know he's going downhill fast. And it's a sad but true fact that he ain't going to be able to run his business much longer. Now, I know that and you know that. And when he comes back off holiday, trust me, I'll be making sure the doctors know it and all. <laughs> we were lucky to eat table. What should we have to drink? Wine? I'd uh, rather have a beer if that's all right. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm sure we can finish a bottle between us. Mm. David, will you have a glass of wine? I'm not thirsty. Well, I hope you're hungry. No. David, it was very nice of Phil to bring us out. I never asked to come out. I said I wanted to stay at home. It's supposed to be a family meal. Then what's he doing here? And him? Well, shut up, David. Nobody's taking any notice here. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, thanks, Phil. You're welcome. Well, at least if David's not eating and drinking, you'll save some money. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, won't you, Nessie? That'll be a penny saved for your piggy bank. Excuse me, can we order some drinks, please? You can have a piece of mine. I don't want anything. Just leave them. I've got to eat something. If he's hungry, he'll eat. How's yours, Sarah? Mm, it's lovely, thank you. I ate it when they put onions all over me pizza. You're spoiling it for everybody, you know. Ah, oh, he isn't spoiling it for us. Is he Jace? Jason? Hmm? No, you're not spoiling it, mate. Well, this is really nice. What is it? No. Leave it. Hi. Let the machine I'm do a bit, though.
me a call, eh? Do you know what? I reckon that we should change the message. Oh, yeah. Danny and Leanne regret they cannot take your call at present. Please leave a message. <laughs> message deleted. End of messages. Oops. Hey. What? What are you doing with Violet? Ordering a pizza? I mean, what are you doing with her? What's it to you? Listen, mate, just because your bird dumped yeah, you doesn't Violet mean... Violet dumped you because you were cheating on her with Sarah Platt. I never cheated on her. What would you call it, then? Going out with someone and then getting your leg over someone else. Just don't think you can take advantage of her, OK? Like what you did. Have you finished with Sarah? No. Listen, mate, if you're regretting choosing a single mum over a gorgeous girl like Violet, well, that's your problem, and she has moved on. I'm telling you, you best keep your hands off, Violet. <clears throat> oh, dear, Jason. Have you forgotten who your girlfriend is? Ah, <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I didn't mean it like that. No, 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 it's just, well, I I'm worried about it, that's all. Oh, come on, he was having a go, rubbing me nose in it. I had to say some of it. I never meant for it to sound the way it did, Sarah, and I'm really sorry. Are you seeing her? Are you cheating on me with her? No, I swear. What's going on? He's kicking off with Jamie because he's seen Violet. Yeah, only because I don't want to get in Oh, you don't mind hurting me, though, do you? Look, it's not like I've been unfaithful. I just wanted her to... I don't know. But what you're saying is, Jason, that you don't want to see anybody else because you love her. I mean, you say that it's me you love, but you don't. You're a liar! Sarah! I do love you! Jason, you. shut up! <laughs> oh, job man now, are we? I'm just giving Emily a hand. Only needs a touch-up. But apparently it's been on Norris's to-do list for about 18 months. I've got two fellas living at mine. It'd be a cold day in the Sahara before either of them pick up a paintbrush for me. And my son's a builder. So it's my painting skills you're after, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Eileen. Hi. Oh, Emily, you are a lifesaver. <laughs> Madam here's just been saying that uh, she'll need a touching up after I finish. No, I, I didn't mean to come out like that. What I meant was your paintwork. Oh, don't worry about it. Now, you will at least let me buy you a drink for all this later, won't you? You could twist my arm, I expect. Love a boy for you. What do you want? Just couldn't say I'm sorry. So, have you, uh, been to see Violet, check on how the date went? Why would I do that? You tell me. Can you two give it a rest? We had all this last night. No toast, anyone. Well, you went out with her for a long time. I guess it's only natural you still have feelings for her, I suppose. Right, yes, yeah, so that's how you feel about Scooter, is it? Why do you go out with lads with such weird names? Scooter, Tom. That's rich, coming from someone called Platt. Excuse me? Sorry, Gail. Uh, no offence. She's called Platt and all. Yeah, well, I can change my name when I get married, can't I? Oh, well, I won't hold my breath for that. What's that supposed to mean? Does anybody want any more toast? Listen to yourself. You ruined our pizza night with all this rowing, and you're at it again this morning. You've only been going out five minutes. Look, Sarah, you know what a fancy like Ron. What? I'm trying to eat here. Everyone's got an ex. You can't keep banging on about it all the time. Yeah, well, the difference is your ex still fancies you like Ron. Right, that's it. You two on a row, do it on your way to work. I mean, is it too much to ask for a bit of peace at breakfast? Such a smug cow. Giving all the little smiles out to the blokes in the Rovers. She's nothing to look at. Talk to yourself, girl. You'll end up in the loony bin. Sarah, it's history. Why do you me and you are together now? That's something we'd all like to know. Then why were you so bothered that she was out with Jamie, eh? You couldn't take your eyes off him. Oh, just give it a rest, will you? I just think she deserves better than that cotton you get. Oh, now it all comes out. Just leave it, will you? I'm going to work. Fine. You try not to fall off a ladder and break anything, eh? What is it with them scarves, eh? Love bites, I reckon. I don't think I can manage a hot pot, Gail. Are you eating? No. Sarah? Do you know I thought she batted for the other side when she first started working here? What on earth made you think that? <laughs> Meets with Sean, them clothes, rubbish makeup. Make my life much easier if she was. Sarah, I know you think a lot of Chase. Yeah, but he's too busy mooning over that. All this jealousy, sweetheart, it'll lead to no good. I'm not jealous of her.
are you doing out here? Um, well, I was just trying to build a cruise to come and see you. What's wrong with the bar? Violet. Jace. I've done nothing but think about you ever since. <laughs> what, ever since you saw me with Jamie? No, ever since we finished. You and me, Vi, we were... Jason. You remember what it was like? Don't say you don't. Of course I do. But we can have it again. Just say the word. Jay, it's... it's not that easy. I mean, too much has happened hey. and... Anything's possible. You told me that, eh? I know. I hurt you. Yeah, you broke my heart. Yeah, I can fix it. I'm a builder, I can fix anything. Come on. How about... we go back to mine and maybe... maybe you'll forgive me. I tell you what, why don't you go home and you can forgive yourself? Huh? Of course I'll be glad to see the back of Chase, but I just actually feel sorry for the lad, the way she's been carrying on. Is it right? Massive turn in the book. Don't see you there, David. Don't talk about your sister like that. Not like you, what? You think you've got it bad? I grew up with three older sisters. My dad not being around, but there's no picnic sometimes being the only lad. How did you cope? I didn't. My granddad had a saying. Women, can he live with them? Can he push them down the stairs? <laughs> hey! Excuse me, we've been in the room. Granddad wasn't the PC type. Good on him. Well, just for that, you two can empty the car. What did you last live, Dio? A uh, severe beating. Now, go on. There's no point in arguing with her when you see those frown lines between her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughter lines. Nothing's that funny. <laughs> you got you there, Mum. Oh, hey! I only took geography because I thought it were like an easy touch, you know, like drawing maps and that. It's dead hard. So you'll not be a weatherman? Big deal. You still doing your creepy serial killer thing? My thesis is not just about that, you know. Still pretty weird. Look, son, I know how difficult it must be for you, me coming into your mum's life after. <laughs> Whoa! Well, uh... No, don't worry, nothing I broken. can do it. I'd like us to be friends, David. Yeah, well, I prefer friends me on age, thanks. You and me may have got off on the wrong foot, and probably I should have been a bit more, well, patient with you. Got a bit of a temper myself. I know at your age it must seem like you're losing your mum or something. Can I just get this done, eh? Sure. That's just about it. Honestly, it was an accident, oh. I swear. David, oh. get some ice, quick! It wasn't his fault, Neil. David! Oh. 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 Marry me. Pilot Wilson, I love you. I always have. Please. Just remind me. Yeah, all right. Jason, this is now the 17th message that I've left for you. Well, if you're sure. How dare you ignore me? Just read your text and get back to me soon as. God! Watch it! Sarah! Honestly, calm down. Yeah, well, at least you know where your boyfriend is. Jason could be lying dead in a ditch for all I know. Yeah, or he could be at work, one or the other. Is he up at hospital? Yeah, I said there's a queue. Don't know why he didn't want me to go with him. Typical fella. First sign of trouble, retreats into his shell. I didn't do it on purpose. What does he think he's playing at? <gasps> we got stuck to sort out! Would you like to go? Yeah, 
you mind not breaking the sound barrier while you're doing it, Sarah? I didn't mean to catch his hand in that boot. And I mean, if you want to clean the bathroom while you're up there, feel free. It's mostly your mess. I'm really sorry. Well, I know you are, love. I mean, I'm stupid and silly, but I knew you didn't do it on purpose. Did you assume that I would? Well, I just thought you'd go mental. Oh, David, come here. Well, I refuse to be one of those clichéd birds who just keeps going back to some bloke who's bad for it because she's scared of being left on the shelf. Phil, can you move it? Put it this way. I may as well cancel those castanet lessons. Just when I thought of taking up flamenco. I'm looking at at least two weeks off work. Well, I never thought of that. Will you get paid? Well, I'm self-employed, so... Would you pay for a cancelled reflexology session? I guess not. Pretty much stuffed. Mum, have only meals here. Talking of which... There's some good charity shops around here. If you want to get yourself some new clothes. But I can see you already know that. Don't push it, Sophie. Hey, Jason, listen. If you don't get back to me before six, then you just forget I exist. You seeing his hand? David, I've got too much going on in my head at the moment, OK? Sarah, will you peel some potatoes, please? David, will you do it, please? I'm too upset. Yeah, and I'm too upset over Phil's hand. Oh, this is sexist, hey! I don't know if I'll ever get over it. Yeah, so does the answer. You're gonna give those to Sarah? Yeah. Looks that way. See you around later. See you later. Come through. What's happened to your hand, Phil? You all right? Never mind his hand. Can you not read or something? Did your mum never give you books? Doubtful. I've just come. You're not welcome in this house. Uh, could you two go and talk on the doorstep, please? All round to Tiley. I'm not going anywhere with him. Seems like you've had a wasted journey, Jason. Goodbye. I've just come to give you these. Look, do you mind if I just go and Oh, talk? why don't you just please yourself? Everybody else in this house does. Why did you let him in? Oh, pillock. Jason. <laughs> what do you think you're playing at? Sarah, I've been working. Oh, and you've never made a personal call from work in your life, eh? Yeah, and I've been busy. I've been going out of my mind. Well, go on, then. What? Apologise. I'm sorry. Like you mean it. I do mean well, it. Well, then say it like you mean it. I'm sorry. All right. How do I know what you get up to when you're in work, eh? Who you seeing? I bet you get up to all sorts, eh? Just listen. No, you listen. When I send you a text message, all you have to do is send me a kiss back if you're busy, and that's an X if you didn't know. It's not too much to ask for, is it? I bet you never ignored vile Violet's text, eh? I bet she sent you big, long, fancy words that you didn't even understand. Do you know what? Silly bitch. Hey. Oh, you're very quick to defend her, aren't you? Yeah, well, she's not OK. Oh, and I am. Is that what you're trying to say to me? You're off your head, you know? Yeah, well, I must be going out with you. Taking sloppy seconds of that silly slapper. See her strutting around like she thinks she's it with her nose in the air. She's not a snob and she doesn't think she's it. And if anyone's got a reputation round here, then who had the kid when they were still at school? Get out. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, go boy. on, go back to her. Yeah, I might just do that. Yeah, if she'll have you. I don't know what I even saw in you, you bunny boiling freak. Okay, that's enough. Come on. Jason, I think you Cheap sex have... whinging gob. That's all you are. I think you've said enough. I mean, come in between me and the woman I love. The woman I'm mad for. You mean nothing, Sarah Lou. Jamie, legs from heaven, personality from hell. I'm not surprised our Todd turned to fellas we got this amount of stick from you.
do what? Sally Webster's just snubbed me. I mean, the look she gave me. Oof. I'm not used to being snubbed me. I get on with people. After in my job, I'm a, a people person. Well, it's not my fault. Oh. But did I say it was your fault, Keith? Well, I saw the look you gave me. Yeah, well, I'm not used to discussing my affairs with the paper boy. Well, I thought you were a people person. I'm a person. Get on with me. No, I wouldn't be in this mess if you put your foot down in the beginning. Well, what was I supposed to do? Well, I don't know, do I? But, I mean, maybe a clip around the ear would have been more effective than a blind eye. Have you seen the size of our Craig? Keith, it's not about size. It's about boundaries. Telling them enough's enough. Well, did anyone ever tell you enough was enough? Well, no. Me neither. We learnt from our own mistakes. Appen Craig and Rosie will do the same. <sighs> I watched Sally Webster paying for fancy schools, trying to turn her kid into something better than she is. Kids aren't our projects, they're people. Our Angela did a good job with Craig. Despite everything, he's a decent lad, and, and, and Rosie is an all, despite her mum. They're good kids. And if we give them a chance, maybe they'll even prove it later. It's Mike here. Hello, Jamie. Um, no, he's in Spain. On his own. No, he's got mates out there. He shouldn't be out there on his own. Look, he's not an invalid, son. He, you know, you try telling Mike not to do something. Don't you care about him? Well, of course I do. Care about you more? Change the record. I'm not interested. When's he coming back? No, he didn't say. Did you ask him? Look, son. I tell you what, why don't me and you go and have something to eat? We can talk then, eh? I would have talked to you much more than I wanted to. And I still don't know what's going on with Mike. Oh, I've just told you, he's in Spain, he's playing golf, he's getting a tan. I don't know when he's coming back. Who knows, he might never come back. He might even retire out there, eh? You know, Jane! Jamie! Oh, are you feeling any better, sweetheart? Oh, I could kill that Jason Grimshaw. I could strangle him with my bare hands. I just wish all the Grimshaws would just emigrate to Australia. No, not Australia, further away. I don't think you'd get further than Australia. Oh, how outer space, then? Oh, that'd make my day. Just put them in a rocket and blast them off to the end of the universe. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Especially little Asha. She's gonna break a few hearts when she gets older, isn't she? Oi, keep your eyes off my daughter, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? What's what? You ever a pop at me or what? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? It's a joke. It's what people say when they've got when they've got a daughter. Yeah, well, I'm a dad and all, you know. I mean, you know, just because I've had a few family all problems. All right, all right. I didn't mean anything. My son still ain't speaking to me. Gandhi skin. You can't stop loving him, can you? No, oh, right. You will not believe what just happened to me. I was on the bus, right, and the driver drives straight past my stop. I was dinging the bell like mad, and he just takes no notice, just Amber. drives past, Amber. so I says, oi, you're deaf or what? They're employing deaf drivers Amber, now. Amber, Amber, shut up. Are you shutting me up? Yeah. I'm telling you a story. And the twins are asleep. Oh, wow. I thought there was with you. How come they're here? Where's Sunita? She's upstairs. Oh, you back together? No, shh. Has she abandoned them? Shh, no. Have you nicked them off her? No, shh. I'm their father. I'm looking after them. You're my father and all, but you ain't done nothing for me. Can I hold them? No. They're asleep. Oh, they're my little brother and sister. They are so cute. Can I take them out? Will you keep your voice down? Why won't you keep your voice down? Do you want to wake them up? So what? It's lunchtime. They shouldn't be sleeping anyway. I want to say hello. Yeah, and they're babies and they're supposed to sleep, and they don't know you, and you're going to scare them. I'm the big sister. Yeah, but they don't know that, and they don't care. So who's this? Your new boyfriend? Have you gone gay now? <sighs> We're just good friends. Let's wake him up. I want to play with him. Out. You what? I said out. I don't have time to play your stupid games. You can't chuck me out. This is a public shop. No, 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 no. This is my shop, and I can chuck out whoever I like. But I ain't done nothing wrong. You haven't done anything wrong? Listen, you're noisy, you're in my face, and you're trying to wake up the babies, and I'm trying to run this place, I'm trying to look after them, and I do not need this. Now, get out. You are the worst dad in the world. Well, get out. Do you know that? Number one most useless worst dad. 
they do get under your skin. You've no more sons, have you? No. Just the two. You've no more daughters? No. One's enough trouble, thank you. Yeah. She's tried them both now. Maybe that's it. End of an era. What are you doing? The news in the house. I wanted to see you. How long have you been waiting here? You're cold. Yeah, it's worth it to see you. I've got loads of homework. Oh, come on, two minutes. I've missed you. Yeah, me too. Why don't they understand? <sighs> They'll never understand. They've never experienced anything like this. I'd better go. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? When? I don't know, but I will see you. I'm going to tell her what the school have said, Kevin, and I want you to back me up. Have you thought that maybe all these rows we're having is what's affecting her schoolwork? Yeah, and what are we rowing about? Craig, that boy's ruining our daughter's future, and I'm not going to sit back and let it happen. Look, I agree with you, Sal, but the more fuss we make, the more they stick together. Maybe we should just back off. This whole thing will just fizzle out. Yeah, I know, Rosie, and I know it's not going to fizzle out. She's still seeing him, Kevin. What are you doing? I'm looking for evidence. Sal, leave it. Just, leave, just leave it! What are you doing? Uh, just looking for the pen. There's a pen here? Yeah, well, it's run out. Oh, really? Let's see. Oh, all right, I was looking through your bag. And do you know why? Because I can't trust you anymore, Rosie. How can you talk about trust? When you were sneaking behind my back and going through my private things? We're sorry, Rosie. They're your things, and we shouldn't have touched them. Well, what were you looking for, anyway? You're still seeing him, aren't you? I love him. You don't know the meaning of the word. OK, I'm sorry for going through your bag, but it's because I care about you. You're a teenager, Rosie. You don't know what you're doing, and you're not ready for a relationship like this. And if you won't talk to me about it, then this is what I'm going to do. Look in the pencil case. I don't need a pen. Look in the pencil case. You'll find what you're looking for. What's that? She's on the pill. <sighs> Who gave you these? The doctor. We went together. We talked about it and we decided it is the most responsible thing to do. You're 15! I can't believe this. He treated us with respect. He treated us like adults because we are acting like adults. It's a shame I can't say the same about you two. We love each other and you will never, ever split us up. Oh, now, if you don't mind, I've got quite a lot of homework to do. How can they prescribe the pill for a 15-year-old behind our backs? We're our parents. Do we have no rights? Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> Leave him, Kevin. I don't know. You stay away from my daughter! Do you hear me? This isn't a game now. Do you hear me? I'm not being smart, I'm not being clever, I'm telling you straight. You go near Rosie again, and I will put you in hospital. <laughs> you think I'm frightened of you? You knew my dad. He was frightening. But you? No. She's 15. I love her. I don't care! So go on then. Hit me. You put her on the pill. You've no intention of stopping this, have you? No, I haven't. So you're gonna have to hit me because I'm never gonna stop seeing her. It's what my dad would have done. Maybe it's what I need. Maybe a good smack in the teeth will make me see sense. Go on, try it. Because you tried everything else, maybe this will actually work. You think you're so clever. <laughs> That's what my granddad says. Yeah, well, you're not gonna get away with this. We've done nothing wrong. Come away from him, Kevin. Leave him alone. That's my daughter. Maybe you should start acting like you care about her then. You keep pushing it! 
What are you gonna do, make your fist do the talking? Kevin, leave him! I love her. Oh. Why can't you understand that? I love her. Another drink, Mum. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Right, Mum, do you want another? No. I do. Can I get anyone a drink? I'm sorry, sir. Do you know, I'm glad. You what? I'm glad you're as angry as I am. I came this close to punching his flaming lights out, Sal. Yeah, well, I feel like that all the time. I want to shake her, I want to thump him, and I want to hit Keith over the head with a spade and Audrey and all. Yeah, well, we can't keep them locked up, can we? But the more we fight it, the more they lie and cheat, do anything to be together. Do you know what I don't understand? How can a doctor prescribe the pill for a young girl when he knows that she's breaking the law? We should call the police. You serious? I thought we could handle it, Sal. I know he's had a lot of trouble with his family, but he's breaking the law and he's not going to stop. I don't care about him, I care about Rosie. So, yeah, let's go to the police. Morning. Yeah. You planning on leaving the country? Staying with me, Dad. Picking me up after school. You never mentioned it to me, David. Well, I'm telling you now. You should have said something to your mum. Just cos you're sitting in that chair don't make you him. You can't tell me anything. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. I just don't know what's going on inside that head of his anymore. If it's any consolation, he probably doesn't either. Well, it's just not good enough, I'm afraid. What are you doing? I'm going to find out what's going on. I don't think David was lying. Well, we'll soon see, won't we? Maybe you should trust him. Trust is earned. It's going to get better. David, why aren't you at school? Why have you been checking up on me? David. Dad told me you rang him. You made me look stupid. Well, if you did, it's your fault. You lied to him. You told him you'd spoken to me. You're saying I can't go? I never said Well, that. then what's the problem? Let your mother finish. You can still visit your dad. But while you live under my roof, there have to be rules, and one of them is that you don't lie to me. Then stop checking up on me. I think you should apologise to your mum, and I think you should mean it. Sorry, I can't do that. I ain't supposed to lie, remember? See you Sunday. How much longer is this going to take? I can't do this on my own, Kevin. Do what, Sal? Say it. Grassing up our own daughter. We're her parents. <laughs> Got a funny way of showing it. We're protecting her, Kevin. What she's doing is wrong. No. This is wrong. Well, in case you've forgotten, it was your idea. I didn't know what else to do, did I? Do you think I did? I could lose her, you know. I'm already losing her. So, as far as you know, Rosie and Craig began having sexual relations just before Christmas. That's what she said. Not that she had any choice in the matter. 
Rosie said she wanted to wait. Who cares when it started? It's happening now. You said your daughter wanted to wait. She told me she wanted to see how she felt about it. And how does she feel about Craig? She's 15, for God's sake. She doesn't know how she feels, does she? Are you sure about that? What's that supposed to mean? All I'm saying is that girls of Rosie's age have a level of emotional maturity. Girls of Rosie's age shouldn't be having sexual intercourse in case she didn't know the law. I'm well aware of the law, Mrs Webster. So, just let her do her job, all right? I assume you've already spoken to Craig's parents. I only ask because usually this sort of problem Craig is... Craig hasn't got any parents. Don't make excuses, Kevin. His dad was killed and his mum's in prison. So now you know what kind of a family we're dealing with. So, who's looking after Craig? Keith, his granddad. And a fat lot of good he is. He's the one you should be talking to. We will be. He's as much to blame. I'm not here to attach blame to anyone, Mrs. Webster. Mr. Appleyard? Yes. Can I help you? I'm Detective Constable Golding. This is DC Morrows. We're here to talk about your grandson. Can we come in? Well, you're not coming in until you tell me what the hell's going on. A complaint has been made. By who? A Mr. and Mrs. Webster. All I know is. Rosie means the world to him. The sun rises and sets with her. Uh, you, you know, you shouldn't be here, Rosie. I'm not stopping. Who are you? Oh, Craig. Um... I'm Detective Constable Susan Golding. What's happened to me, Mum? No, no, you, you, your mum's fine. What's going on? I'll explain later. Rosie, please, w will you go home? Craig, why are they here? Tell us, Grandad. Well, they're here because of you two. I'll do the talking. Rosie! Rosie, open the door! Dad, what's going on? Kevin, will you get that? Happy with yourselves, are you? You've been then. What possessed you? We didn't it's have any. Being responsible. The pair of them came in from school and found the police waiting for them, and you call that responsible? She's been at your house. How could you do it, Kevin? Involving the police in something like this? You're going to arrest him? That's not what we're here for, Mrs. Webster. But whatever that boy told you. I've spoken to them both informally. Informally? A proper interview isn't appropriate at this stage. So what? You're just going to wash your hands of it all? As soon as I get back to the station, I'll be in touch with the Child Protection Unit and they'll decide if the complaint warrants further investigation. Well, how do you mean, if? That boy has committed a crime. Technically speaking, they both have. Rosie's a victim. I'm sorry, but it isn't that simple. I haven't found anything to suggest abuse or coercion. They're the same age, so it's difficult to establish any form of exploitation. But he's had sex with her. And your daughter says it was consensual. Oh, this is just one big joke to you lot, isn't it? I can assure you we take it very seriously, Mrs. Oh, Webster. do you really? Right, well, explain this to me, then. If it's illegal to have underage sex, why don't you stop all them nurses at schools from giving out condoms like the lollies? I know that this is hard for you. Are you a mother? No, but... Well, you have got no idea how I'm feeling. She's just a file number to you, but Rosie's my daughter. And I'm the one who has to pick up all the pieces. I understand what you're saying, but any action we take must be in the best interest of the child. Oh, what about us? What about our interests? What do we do now? Someone will be in contact with you in the next few days. I'm sorry. I really am. Arrest him. What are we going to do? Sophie, not up yet? Just as well, because we've got something to tell you, haven't we, Kevin? That's right. We know it's not been much fun for you these past few days, and 
We thought, what can we do to cheer her up? And then we remembered that skiing trip you wanted to go on. And we know how much it meant to you, all your best friends going in that. So we've had a talk and, well, we think you should go after all. But should I? Yeah, well, I've rung Mr Edwards and there's plenty of places. He said it's fine. No way am I going. You only do need to get me away from Craig. But I've booked it. Top! Rosie, I am not phoning Mr Edwards and cancelling it now. You are going on the school trip. Whether I like it or not. What are you going to do? Call the police. Send my love to Mr Edwards when you speak to him. Um, is this blooming paper, Angie, do? Oh, what about it? Um, Richard said, I, I find it a bit embarrassing, you know, telling people that I'm going out with a paper lad <laughs> my time of life. So, the thing I wanted to ask you was, um, would you mind giving it up, paper round? You're home early? I said, you're home early. Sorry to spoil the party. You're not spoiling anything. Is there any dinner left? No, we ate out. Didn't Martin feed you? We just had a sandwich. They won't eat until two time. So why didn't you stay? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Is everything all right there? Yeah. I just made myself something to eat. So what did you do this weekend? This and that. David, are you sure everything's OK? Yeah. Why do you keep asking? Because you don't normally come back till late and you're full of life when you do. Well, there's no wrong with them. They're as happy as Larry. And what does that mean? David, what's going on? Having a baby, aren't they? Then. How long have they known? A couple of weeks. Didn't waste much time, did they? Was it planned? I don't even want to go there. Thanks. Is that why you came back early? No. Well, I mean, if they were all cosy together and you felt left out. Doesn't mean he'll stop caring for you, you know. You'll still be the most important thing in his life. Don't make me laugh. I didn't see him for dust when he got Katie up the spout. No, that's not true. You even had to go at him yourself over it. I'm sure he'll bend over backwards to make you feel welcome. He's got a new life now. What does he want me for? You're his firstborn, David. He'll always be important. Who asked you? You're not the first to go through a thing like this. Oh, great. I feel better already. Phil's only trying to help. Well, I don't want his help. I just want to live in a normal family like I used to. I just get in the way now. Why don't I just jump under a tram? Then at least all you lot can live happily ever after without me. David! Where's Mum? I'm not lying there. I'm just making some soup. You want any help? It's fun. Try it. Carrots first, then onions. I'll get the pan. Do you like cooking? No. I find it quite therapeutic. What don't you find therapeutic? Lots of things. Getting up in the morning, sitting in traffic. Getting my fingers caught in car doors. Careful. You have a nasty accident. What I did to you were no accident. Oh, I know. It's good to get your own back. Does that make us all square? Well, I don't know, does it? How about I get you one ahead? What, and let me break your arm? I'll tell your mum what happened that day I pinned you against the wall. For which I apologise, by the way. And what would that get me? She'll know you were telling the truth all along, and I'll get it in the neck. You can't lose. And then we bury the hatchet and become big buddies. 
Life's not as simple as that, but we can't go on like this. I haven't even started on you.